Well, that was funny. I dropped my controller. <laughs> I was uh, coming over to actually start the stream, and I picked up the controller and dropped it, and so there was a very abrupt map opening. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, I'm not late again. Technically, technically, this time the stream started like at 7.01. It just only really started now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing great. How's everyone else? No, I just I just need to schedule my streams like 10 minutes later every day, and I think we'll be okay. I, Daniel, I'm so sorry. I was like, okay, let's let's get this started. Bam! On the ground. The map slow zoom in. <laughs> Uh, oh, and now the controller. Oh, the controller's disconnected, so it's not actually working. Give me two seconds. I did not have much time to test the audio. Uh, I changed my setup a bit today, so if it sounds like garbage, let me know, and I will fix it. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. She's jumping. We're jumping. We're good. Alrighty. Let's just, like, get reoriented here. Whew. T. T will save us. Also, Daniel, I saw your message. Um, I need to check out your Horizon stream. I haven't had the chance because I just, just got off work, but uh, I'm going to remember to check that out. It, it's on Twitch, right? Um, hopefully the VOD saves for a little bit so I can see it. If not, I will try and catch the next one. It's worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. That wouldn't be good. She says that like every single time she approaches playing song at this point. I need to get more active on Twitch. Um, I saw your comment, Daniel, about... Uh, You'll complain a lot? Perfect. Okay, great. I can always count on you for complaints. I'm kidding, of course. Good. You're among us again. I am among us. Among us? That was my best impression of the Among Us sound effect. And I hope I didn't just lose 10 subscribers. Um, that would be a fun, that would be a fun soundboard. Um, okay, it's working. That it's, I only have like two sounds, but it's my favorite thing right now. Um, I haven't spent much time in the actual fields of playing song in a little bit. It's such a strange mix of um, like beauty and I guess a decay and sadness too, right? It is still beautiful, just in a very twisted, rotten kind of way. And the singing is still there. And I, I would like to know what are you trying to do, honey? <laughs> if Aloy's taking that much damage and she's Aloy, this guy is going to be dead within the hour, like... You keep... you keep tilling that blight, sir. You should... maybe he should come... Like, right here. There, there's still hope in this patch of grass. Okay. Let's head over to Plainsong. I'm not going to start the quest, like, immediately. Maybe in, like, 15 minutes or so. Uh... But I will do a little bit of machine warm-up. That went so well last time. What are we at again? Let me see. 32? <coughs> Not bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. Let's get to the campfire, though. I think this is... Wait a minute. Is that... I forget her name. But is that Boomer's sister? There's a lot of reuse of character models in this game, which, like, is fair. They have so many highly detailed character models, they couldn't do, like, a gajillion unique ones, but that is kind of funny. He looks a little, like, Peshav. Okay, this is getting weird. Let's get out of plain song. Uh, I'm gonna go fight some machines really quick. <laughs> hey, Varl. You don't have a beard, so I'm not talking to you. That's how we decide things here. Uh, what could we do just for like a 10 minute little like seance? That's not the right word. We could fight a Thunderjaw. No. <laughs> I think one of the first things that we do when we get to the other side is maybe those um, those Desert Clan quests. And there is one where we fight the, uh, the Thunderjaw with Dekka. Is that? Yeah, Dekka is the guy's name, right? It's been a while. Uh, so that could be fun. Let's go. Don't know what that is. It's probably just Fire Gleam. Let's just go, let's just go fight some wide moss. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. The VOD stays up for 24 hours, but the sound was doubled. Oh, I hate it when that happens. And no worries. I still don't consider myself very entertaining. But <laughs> um, I 
again, I am like technically a techie person. Like my job is a developer, but I'm still so bad at like setting things up. Hence why I always ask, is this okay, guys? Um, and I had an issue where my sound was doubling a lot for a little bit and it took me so long to figure it out. So I hope you figure it out. I don't know if it's like, do you think it's something locally on your device or like a Twitch thing? I don't know. The assets of the trio in Las Vegas are literally all over the map. Yeah, I remember seeing Stemmer somewhere recently and it really like threw me off. Um, is there a screen shine? You know what, let's grab this and that'll be our, our warm up for the day. Perfect. Mike, thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. Still the most colorful map in gaming. I agree. And like it just gets better because at the start of Forbidden West, like it's a lot of desert and like grays and stuff, which is fine. But the further west you go, uh, the more vibrant it gets. The, the desert kind of has like this brownish filter on everything, which is fine. It fits the setting. Um, but the color filter, the color correction that happens when you're on the coast is like stunning. It's beautiful. And I'm really excited to get there. And then, of course, you finish it all off with uh, the Burning Shores, which is just like the most amazing setting. It's incredible. I still like the cut from the Frozen Mods a bit more just because of the emotional attachment. But in terms of just like sheer map and environment design, uh, Las Vegas or Los Angeles, Las Vegas, too. But Los Angeles is something else. How's the weather? I'm not going to read all this right now. Osram stuff. But let's go talk to some Karja, the uh, the only two Karja in the Forbidden West. Although I guess Talana's running around right now somewhere. Who knows where she is, just like trying to find a mountain pass. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this. Oh, isn't that? I? It's a tray. Isn't that Stemmer like speaking the sun, of? Sun, man. Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder Rundle, how's it going? It? It's pretty good. How about you? It's Excited to get to the uh, the rest of the Forbidden West. But uh, thanks for stopping by. Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one. Don't get hit in the face by the sun. Seen. Can't recommend. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh. That then is Abaddon too. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah. Something big happened here in ancient times. He's so different. <laughs> What a lovely tray. I want a tray like that. New project unlocked. I'm going to build a tray like that. Um, <laughs> should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh, you mean a cover for the tray? No, <laughs> more like something that could come handy in a fight. Gosh, I remember being so excited about the mobile cover Rich system. Is now crawling with machines. I thought it was going to be Unless so cool. Unless they magically disappear, we are leaving. Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. Also, they don't poke fun enough at the fact that she is just playing in air most of the time. I like that they, they uh, mentioned it. You had the game input twice. That's kind of what happened to me. Yeah. Lovely sister mentioned it, so bless her. Bless her indeed, yes. What drew you to this place in particular? The Forbidden Rest. Good expedition <laughs> That's really good. With a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the West, returning soldiers described this lake. I need caffeine right so bad. Right signs of the ancients. Oh. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight. When clouds pass. Speaking of sunlight, did anyone see the uh, the eclipse today? I forgot to get glasses, but I did kind of just go outside and experience the darkness. Uh, where I am, it was just a partial, like it was like 99%, so it basically was the total eclipse. Uh, it was pretty cool. There's pretty cool. Plenty of ruins in the east. I got a video of it, so come all the way out might do something with artifacts. that. Ah, well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas. The first Loquacious. scholar to the secrets of the West. Wow. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. Okay, quick poll. Do we ship them? Like, are they? I don't know. I, I actually, there is a part of me that, that wonders if they are intended to be 
because their behavior together is very couplish. I gotta say, uh, Grendel, this mission always had you confused. It's weird because you can start it and you can do the one machine combat to the south, which you know what? Maybe we'll do that as our warm up. Um, not that we need a warm up, but I just, you know, I don't want to start with the big quest immediately. Um, and then you can't do any of the quest until you do Vegas, right? Which feels like weird. I don't know why that happened. Um, I mean, I guess like they had the lake on this side of the map just because that's how the map is set up. But I don't know. It was just kind of odd. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. Right, you didn't get it at all, did you? Ah, oh, that's too bad. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It they definitely are. Yeah. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing I in. I think so. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Asaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. Ha! Mm. <laughs> Not a chance unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Well, given our, 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 our recent conversation and topic of booty, anyways, uh, uh, it's right there. I never knew what I received at the end of it. Oh, true. Yeah, because you can completely just miss the, um, the tripcaster. Like, you can receive the tripcaster and be like, well, I wanted the mobile cover unit. Because it's not, like, immediately clear, and then you do try it out, and it's very lackluster. Where's this dig yeah. site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm going to follow up on Does this anyone actually use cover system? the shield wires? I'd love to know. Out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. A lot of sad ones, to be honest. truly shined upon us this day. Um... What was I gonna say? The the drop shields in Burning Shores, I still didn't I use either. Dick site Gendis mentioned. Clear out those machines and look for any clues on this. But they're at least a bit better than, uh, than the, the shield wires, I'd say. I'm gonna try and get this green shine just because I need it for my Shredder Gauntlet, but uh, it might be a little too deep. Let's see. Oh, it's so pretty, though. Limperist gang. <laughs> oh, God. No. Stupid. Just gonna double check really quick. Uh, uh yeah. Almost there. All right. Can we make it? Are we gonna drown? I don't have the oxygen bar, so... I'm a little nervous. Yeah, let's go up. <laughs> I could not do this in real life. It freaks me out so much to go underwater. Are we within the, uh... Right, we can do this. That must be it over there. Right? Okay, that's a little too deep, I think. Let's just go do the machine combat. You use them once to test it out? Yeah, exactly. I was like, ooh, what's this gonna be like? Uh, oh, that's cool. Um, never gonna use it, but it's cool. Cool swim from one end to the other of uh, the breather? Definitely. Have you brought the uh, the water wing to this lake? Because that's also a very fun trip, like from here all the way to the dam on the water wing. It's one of like three places on the base map that you can bring the water wing in. Uh, one being this lake, one being mono lake up there, and the other, of course, being the ocean. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, what do we got? Wide maws. I feel a little bit better about fighting Wide Moss. Oh, big development uh, off camera. I finished some Relic Ruins, and I also got enough skill points to unlock full level of Power Shots, so that is amazing. Right now, I'm using um, them with a Prototype Spike Thrower, which, oh my god, I don't have Blast Paste. Shoot. Uh, mm -hmm. Reload from your stash, everyone. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, and I also got Knockdown Shot on the Hunter Bow. Which, normally you'd start off with Triple Notch, I know, but I want to play around with it a bit more. Um, I didn't love it in my first playthrough because I found, just because, um, 
it wasn't like an immediate knockdown. I was kind of like, what's the point? But now that I know how the mechanics work a little bit more, and I know there's like a knockdown buildup value, I think even just getting two of those knockdown shots off to trigger a knockdown on any machine is really powerful. So we're gonna play with it. I might forget to use it entirely, and that's okay. Do do do. Two scrappers, two wide maws. Oh boy, let's try and stealth the uh, scrappers. I think that'll be the best way. You had a dream last night about having to take swimming lessons again. That is so specific, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I would not enjoy that. Definitely not the recommended way to deep dive. I agree. Did not work. Would not recommend. Knockdown to grapple strike. Yeah, that's that's another reason. Like the, the knockdowns are so so powerful. Oh oh, I'm out of the grass. Okay, that's you know that's good. He'll come over here. Yeah, and it's still very funny that we have grapple strike this early. I've been having a lot of fun with it though. Uh, I've been doing some combat off camera just to like I'm level 22, which is really high for this point of the game. Uh, but I just want to get as much health as possible because a scrapper beam can still one hit us. Like it's silly. Speaking of, let's just make sure we're good. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Don't be shy. What are they weak to? Shock. Okay, that's good to know. Could do something with that. And I have um, advanced hunter arrows on the slicing hunter bow now, which is great. He definitely should have saw that. It's fine. We're fine. Okay, let's try and get this guy now. It's gonna be a bit more tricky. Grapple Strike changed the game. I agree, it is, like, A, it's just really fun to use, like, in terms of just, like, pure joy and game juice. Um, but it's also just a much more viable form of Critical Strike, because you get about the same amount of damage and a free Resonator Blast, which is just, like, twice as powerful, honestly. That too, yeah, having having multiple enemies knocked down and grappling from one to the other, you just feel like a badass. Like, it's so fun. Okay, I might be able to... That wide maw's gonna see me, though. It's okay, it's okay, he won't see us. He won't. It's, nar it's dark outside, right? Okay, we're going. Speaking of... Alright, he's dead. That's good. That's just the Y Moz. Do I want to use power shots now? Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. I wouldn't mind finding a little bit of blast pace maybe in the map here, because then we can make some uh, some spike throwers. The power shots is much better with the spike throwers than the, uh, the sharp shot, unfortunately. Oh my god! No, I want out! No, no, no. Rude. 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 Oh god. Okay, I want to loot this really quick. Uh, no blast base. Okay. That is very funny. I've never actually gotten the suction on a shield wing before. Okay, still no blast base. Yeah. Oh, we got one apparently. I just need one more. It's not worth it. Let's just do it. dodge that well. That's fine. I wonder how knockdown shot works on power shots. Can you do weapon techniques with power shots? I don't think you can. Oh, he did like a belly flop. Alright, that's all of them. Let's, uh, let's try and get a knockdown shot. Aim for the legs as well, that's key. Okay, we got it. See, even just using two, that's worth it. I wouldn't mind going for his belly. Ah, I should just take in the grapple shot. That's okay.
Hopefully that one's gonna die soon. Ah, I missed. It's gotta be low by now. I put a, uh, an agility coil on this thing, so the jumping does actually matter now. Okay, he's down. Come on. Got them both? All right, he's down. I hit that sparker. Got it. Let's do a full charge shredder and then we'll grapple to him. Oh, I got a chest off. That's nice. Those are hard to get. Oh, oh, we're out. All right, we're going with the bow then. Okay. <laughs> Wide Maws ain't got nothing on me. Doesn't look like there's much here, but these ruins fall off into the water. Daniel, you do have thalassophobia. Oh boy. Yeah, that is totally reasonable. Water is scary, man. I'm glad that they added some settings in the game for accessibility for that, because uh, some of the areas in this game can Let's get pretty can freaky as well. Clues. The only thing Dragon's Dogma 2 did better graphically is realistic night lighting. Probably a gameplay decision. I still haven't looked into that game that much. I think my brain kind of just heard all of the controversy and just blocked it out entirely, but I should, I should take a look just from a, an interest standpoint. And yeah, Horizon's nighttime lighting can be a bit weird, especially when you're going through on photo mode, but... Uh, it's, yeah, it's artistically, it still, like, looks great. Uh, still not enough blast pace. Okay, that's fine. Finished watching, uh, Burning Shore series, and you agree that we deserved another Zenith? That would have been interesting. I, like, another Zenith just kind of doing their own thing. Their own, uh, goals and motivations, which is kind of what Laundra did. Uh... Lots of potential for some more interesting stories there, but I'm glad we got one, like, break-off scene, because that just feels realistic. Like, I don't think they would have all played nice. And, I mean, of course, he also did it because he saw Aloy kind of coming for them. Okay, did I loot everyone? Yeah. Uh, we could do the... Let's just trigger the quest, and then it'll become blocked, and we can get on with our life. Ah, oh, there was the blast pace. Yeah. For those of you guys who are playing Horizon on uh, PC, how's it going? I find the performance has been getting, like, a lot better. Maybe it was the recent patches, but I have a lot fewer hiccups than when we started. I was very concerned when we started because it was not going well. Uh, but the game's looking great now. Still not as good as PS5 for my rig, but... Uh, Oh, look at the little fishies. I'm quite happy with it. Once I'm done the playthrough, I'll honestly probably just switch back to playing regularly on the PlayStation. But, uh, eh, we'll see. For for the sake of getting, like, footage for things, I'm glad we have the, uh, the PC port, because it just makes things simpler on my end. Where are we going again? Serious slide time. In Forbidden West, it's always serious slide time. The sliding is so satisfying. Especially when you're trying to avoid the section of a wide maw. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this when we get the breather, because I don't want to keep having to come up and out of the water. Uh, some Glint Hawks. Let's just go to. Bom ba da da, playing song. Anything else we should do beforehand? I, I kind of done all the side activities there are on this side of the mountain, so yeah, I think we're just gonna go. I've noticed that Grundle, um, even on some of that, like, when I play on my own, I play, um, I can manage to get to high settings, especially from playing, uh, 1080. 
Uh, I find when I'm streaming, it kind of hurts performance a little bit. Even on high, the level of detail on certain models is just completely out of whack, and it's very odd. I'm sure they'll fix it eventually, but... Come out of this ammo. That Fashav? No, he looks different. You might want to uh, go around these fields. You might want to move, buddy. M.A. Hi there, back. How's it going? Good to see you. We're about to start the quest. How you two lovebirds doing? Still a little bit salty. <laughs> I mean, I'm here, what? As promised. But singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. We couldn't have done any of this without Varl. I don't know what good it will do. He's just the best boy. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. Sorry, I just had to respond to something there. How did Varl help? Just by him being amazing, obviously. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs. And even with my mother. Once or twice. Ah, uh, Sona. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. <laughs> so accurate. Cut through them. Oh, my. Uh, comparing PS5 and PC, I found that the draw distance detail is better on PlayStation 5 resolution mode and then PC Max. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch some comparison videos because I am curious to see which version does what better. But I imagine like resolution mode is still the best in general other than frame rate of course um i also had another crazy theory because i still think the bunuk are androids ah oh yes I, I remember this um what if silence is vast silver in human form i get that the you gotta think about that one but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss the, the fuss was already there many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations. I'm trying to think of a funny response to that. There's nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. In the in the burning shores data point. Quest has given fresh what does he say? Point. He's right. like, I'm happy to Tradition. chat. I would have loved to chat with you too. I've run into that before. That's too polite for silence. <laughs> that that in their could, own way. could be. You say so? The Banuk androids theory. I mean, how else would they survive getting blue cable? As, ugh, ugh, in their skin. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. Oof, yeah, what kind of machines? I wonder if they've gotten the Apex ones yet. They must have. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. Purple. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? Oh, yeah. If they are what I think they are, then... Yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. I am Meeting indeed ready right now. On for days. 
I've killed my warm up wide moss, maybe so. I should resupply first. Oh, actually, we do need to resupply. I'm glad she said that. <laughs> Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. And so can her spear. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Mike, I totally agree. It's amazing that she is just so inherently beautiful. And uh, yeah, she doesn't have to do anything extra, if you know what I mean. Uh, and it feels like a lot of games, especially with female characters, they feel the need to show some extra skin just to, to appeal. But like, this, this is how you do it. She's just so naturally pretty, and I love her for it. I specialize in your survival. And I like that she also, like, of course, you can put the, the Karja face paints on and stuff, which are a bit more similar to, like, traditional makeup, but she just has a little bit of, like, black eyeliner, which is more of a practical thing. Uh, and she doesn't have any, like, you know, forced out-of-world makeup on her or anything. Ayla was prettier in HZD. Mmm. They gave her a facial structure makeup. They, yeah, she does look a little bit different in Forbidden West. I... My personal opinion is that she's... I feel weird, like, comparing her two character models, but I, I think she just... Maybe it's because of the extra detail in this game, I think she just looks better overall in this game, more realistic. Um, well, just leave it at that. <laughs> Where is the stash? It is... Is it down here? Ah! I know things. How much blast space do I have in here? Okay, we got quite a bit. Yeah. He talks about illegitimate birth and age. True, true, yeah. Beta could be vast silver with her booting up phrase used a couple times. Oh boy, what if... What if everyone's vast silver? What if we're vast silver? That would be... Like, Gaia took the corpse of... Or, like, the remaining bits of vast silver and used that to construct Aloy. I am mostly kidding, but, like, what if? For those of you who played Fallout 4, especially um, Far Harbor, there's that one line that Dima in Far Harbor throws out that's like, you could be a synth, like, do you remember anything from before you woke up? And of course not, because that's when the game starts. And that's one of my favorite, like, meta weird story twists that happens. And like, it's, it's never confirmed if you are or not, and I don't think you are, but it's like one of the most interesting throwaway lines in a game ever. That I've played, at least, obviously. This chorus is hitting half notes <laughs> where they learn that. Let's ask them. Who, who taught you music? Wow, they're very sad. Let's keep going. <laughs> Wolfie, hey, good to see you. We're feeling plaid today. You also better be feeling plaid today. I hope this works. The next time I see you, if you're not wearing plaid, I will be sad and won't do anything about it probably. But if you do wear plaid, I'll be happy. Aloy. Oh, it's Yef. He's sure um from the the what Eclipse camp. It's quite a place. <laughs> sure, as long as you like the smell of manure. Ouch. Uh, Way to roast plain song mean. like that. I won't go wandering again. I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. It won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. You do that, buddy. Okay, don't need any food, so let's just let's just go do the quest. Remember when people made a whole deal out of Aloy having tiny hairs on her face, like any other human people? Ah, ah, some people can be very frustrating. The things that I read on the internet when that uh, San Francisco teaser came out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah. I kind of want to wear this just to like represent the tribe a little bit, you know. I'm sure I'll have Speaking of, also, what should we wear right now? Um, I might just put the the anointed on. Feels a bit fitting for main quest stuff. You know, I'm feeling the huntress. Let's do that. heart back in the Nora sacred lands. Everyone would crowd around to hear what the matriarchs had to say. You must miss home. A little. Oh, sad. So the singing just keeps Vast going. Vast Silver is responsible for the yellow the ledges. Yes, it. M.A. I like that theory. People sing to That's good. <laughs> soothe the chorus to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. 
I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? <laughs> of course not. The singing okay, but will stop can we see we that? Can we see that, please, Aloy? Aloy. Are you ready? Are we ready, kids? I hope you all said aye aye, Captain. Um, what if our reality is made from vast silver and he made this game to make us think he's just a fictional character? <laughs> this is getting 240 chess, guys. Would explain the reuse of faces across from the- Oh my god. Did we just crack it? Did we just crack the, the final plot twist of Horizon 3? Gorilla, you got nothing on us. Alright, let's go talk to them. Alright, this is a good cutscene. It's the sole survivor's response options that fuel the theory. They don't refute it by remembering past the start of the game. True, true. And like, the opening sequence really could have just been like a dream or a memory they extracted from the real soul survivor. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't played that sequence in a long time. Like, at least six years, which is... I really want to do a Fallout stream before the, the show comes out, but I don't know if I'm going to have time, unfortunately. I've never gotten this quest at uh, Daybreak. This is quite uh, quite pretty. Ooh, ooh, leg. I'm sorry. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it so will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. Daniel, I feel like she would be boxed before she sang. She had to pick one thing? Tales yeah. of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken, we die, and become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around until you become food for worms? Literally? Literally? She's so funny. So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Also, I really appreciate the um the tiny arms representation that we get with Please. the Utaru. Uh relatable. Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying. Yeah, and Kel, we know what uh, you did now. Has she done it yet? I don't think she has, right? Break our traditions. Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider? I'm referencing the, uh, the promontory quest, of course. No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. <gasps> she has a point. <laughs> I love the, the gossip in the background. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors. Our children. Okay, but thank God for Zoe's voice of reason, and right? This Oof. lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. Boom. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. What's that? What's that from the MA from Doom Patrol. I don't get that reference. Mark Shepard. Is that Mass Effect? The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going. The time for permission is over. My, uh, my friends permission. lovingly make fun of me because I don't get, like, any pop culture references then if they're not go. Horizon or Fallout, so <laughs> I don't know who anyone is. Ah, they all do. They all do the stupid repel. I love it. It doesn't make any sense. Let's go. Scarlet, hey, good this to see you. You chose for Cal's seed pouch to be burned. That is metal, and I respect that. She did some awful stuff. Tiny arm gang, unite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fighting in the fields ahead. Hey, li listen, if I were a D&D character, I would have a six strength, but I would have a 20 dex, so mm, 18. Okay, we got this is our first uh Apex machine fight, right? Yeah. I'm actually terrified of Apex rappers. Oh my god. They're going to murder us. 
will defend For the next like 20 minutes, so get ready. Nope. But like the NPCs are quite useful, I gotta say. I wonder if their damage scales with Ultra Hard in the same way that the machines do. I doubt it, but they seem as effective as they do in lower difficulties, which is interesting. Skip arm day, people. Yeah, I didn't. I just got out of school last year, and I didn't really do like any gymming for five years, just because school stressed me out too much, and I was just really busy. So I'm trying to fix that now. It's not going well. All right, who wants the giant shredder? I can run for hours though, I'll give myself that. I love cardio, I hate anything else. Aloy's kind of in tiny arm. Tiny arm gang too, a little bit. She shouldn't be, she really shouldn't be. She had uh, larger biceps in Zero Dawn. It's interesting that they kind of like did that, did away with that. She should be very buff. I mean, gosh, there's games like The Last of Us that got so much heat for that from fans, which is stupid. So I wonder if that kind of like factored into the decision a little bit. He's a British actor? Ah, oh, gotcha. Is that a... No, I scanned those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolfie, I am gymming right now. Um, my fingers, obviously. Okay. Take that. Oh, how much does a, an Apex Burrow would you like? 200? Sorry, I know the challenge is no HUD, but I still sometimes instinctually swipe up to see the HUD. I'm trying to not do that. Okay, let's go. Aloy's Super Soldier DNA Enhanced. I would not be shocked. Honestly, she does some crazy stuff. There's gotta be a little bit of extra juice in there somewhere, right? Right? Some Captain America stuff. I can sneak up to you. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just Minerva and a missing land god in that game. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't sneak up on these guys. Oh, that's a scrapper. Oh, we still get the uh, instant kill, even with Apex. That's nice. Thank God. Now, normally when I replay this quest, I try and take my time to get some photos, because lots of great opportunities for Varl, Zo, Vintaru. But uh, we're streaming, so I'm probably not going to do that. Press on. No, I want my XP, so don't be silly. This way. Oh, well, he's got the sneak attack there. That's funny. I don't know, Varl. Thank you, Varl. <laughs> 
Mike, you made the mistake of starting gymnast training when you were very, very young. Now I'm all arms no matter what training I do. Hey, could be worse. But no, I get it. It's, it's frustrating when uh, your body kind of like gets pinholed into a very specific thing. I only ever did races growing up, so... I have a very hard time putting on muscle mass, but here. that's okay. I, I just, I'll just keep doing races. It's fine. Let's try the, uh, the knockdown shot, shall we? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I have enough stamina for two consecutive ones, and I missed both of them, so that's not great. No merci. Miss you, Strider. What would Strider be in French? Wait, Claw Strider. Um, oh my god, I haven't spoken French in so long. Someone, what is Strider in French? <laughs> to stride would be... Um, no, I don't got it. Claw is... Um, Wow, my French upbringing is laughing at me right now. Okay, let's get closer. A nail is on, but I don't know what claw is. Talon, maybe. Or is that just talon? I don't know why I'm talking about this. Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. She's made from titanium alloy. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Scarlet, was Abby's muscles realistic in an apocalyptic setting? That is a good point. That is a genuine criticism. Um, I, by the way, I haven't played the game. I just know a lot about the controversy and I've seen the models, obviously. Um, that is unrealistic, but that's unfortunately not what people were criticizing her about, um, as I'm sure you guys are aware. Aaron called Olin a scrounger. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Scroungers didn't even exist back then, did they? I wonder what the impetus for um for scroungers was. I guess like they just they wanted the opening area to have all new machines, but they didn't want to um like introduce anything too crazy. So they're like, okay, let's just make a scrapper, but easier. But I feel like scroungers in this game are about the same difficulty as scrappers in Zero Dawn. Maybe a little bit easier. I don't know. Our, our strider? Yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> Hello, hey! Good to see you. Thanks for joining the stream. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. knock him down get the tail off does he have um yeah they start having armor on the the chest now i think i just knocked it off though i did not <laughs> i love that that easy point in the game where the uh, the canisters don't have any armor on them unfortunately we are breaking out of that point might be able to knock it off though oh no oh, i just killed him that works too Oh, Daniel, they had a whole gym. Oh, see, I, I didn't know that. I haven't played the game. Um, they would need, like, a lot of meat, but in that apocalypse, I still feel like it wouldn't be too, too hard to get a lot of meat, I suppose, because the animals didn't die. I'm mostly going off of show knowledge. I still got to play those games. Unfortunately, I've spoiled, like, the entire story at this point, uh, but uh, I'd still get a lot out of playing them, I'm sure. trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. It's really pretty, but unfortunately people are dying right now. Bilal, ghost level 71. On PC already? Dang. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Oh, there's a Ravager cannon here somewhere, right? Ah, I still got the shutter off. Okay, I was worried about that. 
Alright, let's find that cannon. I know it's somewhere... Ah, right there. There are a lot of machines. I, I do die here occasionally. Oh, he's right next to us. Borrow. Okay, no, we're gonna smoke one out of here. That is too much activity. No. Okay, yeah, no. I was hoping to just kind of get some distance and use that gun, but... These guys can be relentless. I have power shots, I have power shots. Okay, let's do that. Okay, this should be good. Ooh, that would've killed us. That would've 100% killed us. He's dead. Got one more. Did I miss that? That scrapper's gotta die. Oh, oh god, oh god. Yep, yeah, nope, 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 nope. Oh, actually, I don't mind being down here. <laughs> to be honest, it's kinda nice. Nice little break from the combat, you know? Knocked him down? Sweet. No, I did not. Shoot. Oh, there's two of them. That's bad. Is that chill water? Let's use that. Come on, get a little bit closer. Or is that smoke? I can't tell what that is. I think it was chill water. Oh, I forgot to release the arrow. That's kind of an important part of using a bow and arrow, you know? I did not need to freeze him. <laughs> it's fine. It's for the fun of it. I hear plasma. Yep. Oh god, that was close. Oh, he's dead. Oh! <laughs> Sorry for yelling, everyone. That really scared me. Ooh. <sighs> okay, wait, I need a minute. All right, dead count up. We were just at the end of the combat, too. I'm so sorry. Okay. Isn't scrounger already a normal word in English? It is, yeah, yeah. Um, Scrounger kind of means... Scrapper implies more like you're breaking things down. Scrounger kind of means you are, um, like, looking slash collecting for things, I guess. Scrounging. Uh, yeah, Abby is a character from um, The Last of Us Part 2. I should, sorry, we probably shouldn't spoil anything from that game, but she's, uh, there was just some controversy around her character model. Um, again, I haven't actually played the game yet, so I don't know much about a lot of the story details, just like, kind of like the highlights. Yeah, Scarlet, the, I, I often die at this part. It's kind of brutal. But uh, a fun fight for sure. Let's try and be a bit more smart about it and not just run in like last time. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Face paint and heavy weaponry. Arnian Commando. I have not seen that one. Let's just let the Charu fight them, you know? Let's... I wouldn't mind getting some sneak attacks on the Scrapper. That might actually help. They're on board. There's just, um, there's just, um, super soldier serum in the, in the face paint, but it wears off when the face paint falls off. Easy. Science. Done. Okay, let's wait for the turn. It's back to us. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, we're doing it the hard way then. Oh. Oh. 
my god, there was like five machines at once there. Did y'all see that? That's the, when you do those critical hit animations, you can get locked in there, and if something like that happens, you're just screwed. Okay, that's power shots it. Oh! That was funny. I think she was like mid-roll or something, and the camera got messed up. No. Oh, it didn't even activate. Very funny. Hold up, let's do that again then. <laughs> was hiding behind the rock. Yeah, that scrapper that killed us, right? Evil. The AI, it uses ChatGPT. I'm kidding. Screw ChatGPT. Not screw Chat. It's it's a very useful tool. I just have a lot of feelings about AI. You got it. She doesn't even go here. I just have a lot of feelings. Any of you guys are Mean Girls fans? Because I reference Mean Girls, this is not random. <laughs> uh, I graduated in the hall that they did the math competition in, and that brings me so much joy. Like, truly too much joy. I swear, every time we get to like the last machine and I do something stupid, like jump on a claw strider. I'm gonna drink some tea. <laughs> Plot is basically Arnold shooting people. Eh, I mean, Sunday night, have some popcorn, could be fun. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh man, Abby is literally just a normal woman, but with a bit more muscle than what people are used to see on a woman. Yeah, and somehow that triggered like a gajillion people on the internet. And uh, the voice actress, who is a lovely, lovely woman who you might know from Critical Role, that's how I know her, got death threats. People are the worst sometime. But you know what? The Horizon community, for the most part, is amazing. You guys are the best. Take them out, and I'm so happy you could lead. be here to watch me die a billion times. I don't feel that bad about dying at this part, though. This part kind of sucks. <laughs> Let's get that sneak attack, shall we? Where's the other one? Do you need ammo? No, I'll Varl. Okay, good for you, Varl. I love his callouts are so funny. I'm Zo. Zo. Girly. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'm trying. Hello. Yeah, okay. I, I knew it wasn't gonna work, but I wanted to give it a shot. No. Here we go. MA, I would try the shock traps, but I haven't specced into traps at all. And so placing them takes like four seconds, and I'm a bit concerned about that right now. I could try and get their canister, but yeah, they're covered now, which sucks. So I have to knock them off first. The shield, that is. I'm curious, um... Oh! We did it. We're competent. We didn't die three times. Or, no, we only we didn't die three times. We died twice. Um, the death count font. I need to find the name of it. I did download it from uh, the internet, but it is a font that is kind of like similar to the Zero Dawn font. It starts with an O. I should know it, and I don't. I apologize. I'll get it and uh, share it later. Guys, can we just not engage immediately and let me loot, please? Some good old fashioned Let's therapy. Go. Right behind you. Machines are everywhere. It was a bit of a funny death, wasn't it? 
Gonna have to clip that. I heard of a way that you can, you can, um, I forget what it's called about an OBS, you can be recording. It's like a, a something buffer, a stream buffer. It's kind of recording the last two minutes of gameplay and you can hit a button to save the last two minutes, which makes it so much easier to clip things than to download the whole four hour stream and edit it. So I really gotta set that up. I'm still a noob, okay? It was probably typical male gamers who didn't like feeling physically threatened by a female video game character. Bingo. Indeed. Which is so sad, but you know... Best we can do is just keep having great representation in games and go from there. That's an owl! Kill the owl! Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the, the Osram in the end of um, Zero Dawn during the Hold the Ridge fight, where if you approach one of them, they just drop the cannon for you. Very kind of them. Yeah, in your guys' playthroughs, either early game, mid game, or late game, what do you tend to use for power shots? I usually go with the spike throwers, sometimes sharp shot arrows, but I think spike throwers just do a bit more damage. Late game, I tend to not use power shots a ton. I usually go with Range Master for uh, bolt blaster shots. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? Yeah, yeah, Daniel, they do say VODs, but then uh, just if I want to get like a quick short out of them or something, it does require downloading four hours of content, which is a little big. It's not terrible, but it's just a bit annoying in terms of like memory and stuff. That is one good thing about YouTube, the saving VODs thing. I am thinking about once we finish uh, the Forbidden West and Baldur's Gate series, maybe I'll start streaming more regularly on Twitch. I haven't played Baldur's Gate in like a month, because I'm still putting out like videos that I recorded a month ago, and I am like, I need it. I need that game so bad in my life. It's such a good game. I didn't realize I, I had like a, a strong desire for really crunchy tactical gameplay like that, and it's it's just so satisfying. Spike MA, yeah, I think it's a it's a good call. You play on normal. Hey, I mean power shots is still great, but yeah, uh, on ultra hard it's definitely a lot more appreciated. I think. Oh, we get a uh, the Utaru Whisperer, I think here. Which I probably won't use, but uh... actually, it's our best uh, silent strike, or just stealth armor in general right now. So I might upgrade that. But in about an hour of gameplay, we're gonna have purple weapons, which is exciting. Um, oh, we do have the giant Gaia Should info dump. Might take a while, but after that, we will have purple weapons. What is that? A kind of wall made of light. Ooh, that was like. We'll follow your lead, Aloy. Some good ASMR. Gonna fall asleep to that sound. Up here. Okay, okay now, now we are doing an infiltration mission in my heart. So, so. Cards of shadow. You haven't really finished Baldur's Gate 3 until you hit the 1000 hour mark. That is very true. Oh, good, good jumping, folks, man. God, the fact that I'm only getting to Act 2 now, and I have like 100 hours in the game, is terrifying. I, that is on, I've played a couple other files as well, and I do have an honor mode playthrough that I'm playing kind of side by side uh, with the main one. But still. Okay, I'll get it the easy way. Utaru Thresher. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. And uh, it's the one that they showed in that exclusive look. Not exclusive, but the, the first look way back when, so... Like a cauldron door. For nostalgia purposes, I do like that armor set quite a bit. I think the Whisperer is the exact same visually, with a bit of a recolor. Yeah, it's white instead of the normal ale yellow. So, Zoe doesn't have a focus right now on her model, right? 
just want to double check. Okay, cool. Sometimes the game models in this game can be a little bit uh, funny like that, like seeing Catalo early on. Ooh. To understand what's going on in there, you're gonna need one of these. A Dorito chip? On the temple. Just like this. But but I want to eat it. How would a focus taste? I feel like it would taste... Blue raspberry? Like very, very crunchy, stale yeah, blue raspberry. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Oh, I love Varl so I much. Him. I miss him. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Heffy. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. Oh yeah, MA. Good old days back when we didn't have transmog. Oh. I could never, no. I do quite like this shot of of our girl, so I'm just gonna... Don't mind me here. Nothing to see here, just... Appreciating... A lovely gal. Okay. Let's go. Go. Oh. We have to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Her hair is gl Aloy, you're glowing. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. Hope someone got that reference. I've gotten really used to just seeing cauldrons, but still, like, it, they're just so cool. Like, such a creative, creative design and so unique. Like, God, these are so cool. I'm so excited to see what we get in Horizon 3. Like, even the jump up from um, base game to Burning Shores, Cauldron Theta felt massive in scale, and oh, I could gush forever. You guys know this. My whole channel is basically just me gushing, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I like liking things. Okay, I forgot these guys are still a bit aggressive at this level. Hopefully that knocks him down. Let's go with the knockdown arrow, shall we? Knockdown arrow does not like me very much. Ah, I missed the grapple shot. He can't move. I could grapple Where? for a big hit. Right there. I get that chain grapple strike. Let's go. He's dead. He's dead. All righty. I love grapple strike. Scarlet, my gameplay is start cold. with a bow, panicking, hitting the machines cold. with melee. Yep, I've like been there. If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired too. I feel and like the spirit you're after is in here. One sec. Minerva. Oh, the best sub function. Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. Here's a lore question for you guys. Um. I feel like other cauldrons should have repair services as well, but maybe the philosophy with the um, the whole Gaia system is if that a machine gets damaged on the road, it'll just die and get picked up by scrappers or Glintox or other scrapping machines, and maybe that just was more efficient than having them come back and get repaired. This might just be a special case because of the whole like control center base thing and that they needed the farm, um, but I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Mike, you're still playing. You've surpassed a thousand hours. Mad respect. 
you grew up on Baldur's Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 2. I really want to try playing them. I've heard a lot about just the stories and gameplay. Well, maybe not gameplay, um, but especially the story being better in those games. So I would love to try them out. Um, those, what, are those based, based off of earlier systems of D&D as well? I don't know which ones, but uh, similar to how BG3 was um, 5e. With a metallic aftertaste. Yeah, nothing like crunching on some focuses, am I right? Who else wants to touch it? I, I really, I really want to touch it. Come on, don't hide your face. Actually, there's poses. I don't need to wait. Sorry, I know I said I wasn't going to do photo mode. But, like, I'm never going to be back in here, so... Actually, you can you can get a little bit into repair bay tau, I think. Oh, that's the dog. <laughs> I love her. Do 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 do. Don't mind me. See, the sad thing is because it's PC, I'm playing with medium graphics right now, and it doesn't look very good. I mean, it's Horizon; it still looks great, but it could look better, you know? You know? Maybe I'm just picky. Maybe it's Maybelline. Do do do. Eh, not my best work, and that's okay. I've given up on perfection. If there's one thing that university's taught me, it's that. All right, let's. Uh, I know there's a the big door over there, but I just want to see what's over here. Varla's already expert in focus in one month. I mean, he's a quick stud. Daniel, I found out that there's an Osram girl in Chainscrape that has Zenith tech on her neck. Oh, I heard about that. I never saw her in game, but I did see pictures of that. That is really funny. She's the spy. They planted her. <laughs> Gaia should really ground Festus's ass. Horizon 3, baby, let's go. The whole Vulcan theory. She's gonna make Vulcan and just destroy him. I can't wait for Horizon 3. Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. Drinks up for that thing for Araya. I want to stand. It takes over places like these. I love the progression from Frozen Wilds as a prelude to uh, this stuff here. Great continu continuity, like it's just. It's so creepy. Die. Okay. Oh, is this the um the forced friendship puzzle? Looks like those cables it is. The, way up. the game was like, oh, have you caught on that the theme is friendship and allies? If not, let's put it in the gameplay as well. Honest cake, more like honest gush. <laughs> Rebrand incoming? I sometimes wonder if I should have picked a different gamer tag. I'm pretty happy with it. I had Honest Cake before I started doing videos. It is, of course, a uh. Wait, nope. My camera's mirrored. Portal 2 reference. Oh, Portal 1, actually, I guess. So, can you stand on that panel? Like the power of friendship. Friendship. That did something. Are you unable to navigate your cauldron alone? Try friendship. Alrighty. Ah, the cauldron crate. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this Shell walkers could never. Oh, it's it's 2.5 DD. I didn't know there was a 2.5. Um, my knowledge goes from like 3.5 and up, so uh cool. For BG2 at least, yeah. I haven't actually played 3.5. But I hear Pathfinder 2E is pretty similar to it, and I love Pathfinder 2E. Okay, get in there. More 
Horizon 3 has to go beyond North America if they have to look for 21st century weapons, because they can't all be in America, right? Definitely, Quinn. I actually, okay, I've actually been planning to write up a video for that. And I don't think we're gonna leave America, but I do see your point. It would be like weirdly convenient if it was all in America. I just, I just don't know how they can tie in. Because, okay, so here's my thing. I don't think the entire map can be outside of America. Like, I don't think the whole game could be the Quen homeland. Just because, like, we have the base here, we have all the existing tribes, all of that. Um, and if they did split it between the two of them, like, she has the Sunwing, and they might have the Odyssey, maybe? And so that would be a good reason as to how they can travel really quickly, but I, I don't know. I would love to go there, like, don't get me wrong. And it's definitely possible. Like, they have been foreshadowing the Quen homeland so hard. My, um, my current, like, personal theory is that it's just going to be, like, a side game, maybe? After they're done the Aloy games. But, uh, it's, it totally could happen. It's on, it's likely, honestly. But yeah, I do actually, I do want to do a video about that soon, so I might get to that eventually. How's it going up there, Aloy? Having too much fun with uh, Forbidden West, though. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Come on. There we go. Nope, I'm bad. So close. Appreciate it, Varl. What? I, I want to ask Gaia, like, in, in our big info dump coming up. So what was up with those platforms that you could <laughs> move? What was the practical purpose? And she's just going to say, oh, I was bored one day. Uh, oh, did I miss? Yeah. Somebody needs to go to the cut and fill Cyan in about everything and link with Gaia. I am, like, actively hoping that does happen in Horizon 3. Because I feel like she could... Her and Vassilver could be, like, big allies, I think. Especially if we do go to Banuwer, that could be a link to that. 3.5 is so much of Pathfinder 1. Pathfinder has been a bit more streamlined since then. 3.5 version is basically an exercise in complexity. Okay, that's what I've heard, yeah. I do love crunching numbers, but maybe not that many numbers. Alright, here we are. The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. Come on. Where are they? Friends? Wait, yeah, where are they? Ah. Wow, everyone in this world is just automatically fit. Can you imagine? How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. Yeah, see if I can get to it. Wait here. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It's interesting that this cauldron has the heffy cables, but um. If I'm not wrong, no other one does. He, his influence is present in all the in all the cauldrons because they're all technically making apex machines, right? So I wonder why they put it in this one specifically. Maybe his presence is just like more immediately here, right now. I don't know. Jump, jump. That was quite a jump. Honestly, Daniel, not much. Um, he was a a failed. Climate control AI. Get up to the node. I think it's been a long time. I really should brush up on it. Um, and I think they meant to either like purge or delete him, but he kind of escaped. I might be completely wrong. Someone feel free to correct me. Uh, and he kind of like existed on chat forums and places online here and there. And a lot of people didn't even believe that he was still around. And it's just assumed due to all the foreshadowing that he's still around somewhere. And I mean, they, he was a big, his, his data point was the final data point in Burning Shore. So like, I take that as confirmation that he's going to be in the next game. Oh, talking about where we're going in Horizon 3, I still don't know what to make of um, the ghost in the east about Bryn. I'm assuming that's Vast Silver, but in the east, technically everything is to the east of LA a little bit. But I don't think we're gonna go to the East Coast, because again, same problem. I feel like we still have to be somewhat connected to 
the map of Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. But we do have flight now, so gah, I don't know. Alright, let's see what we can do. Come on over, you two. 25 of the first 30 hours were spent deciding what feats to choose. Oh my gosh. Okay, but why is part of me like excited by that? <laughs> that's cool. Is that a like a video game? I have not heard of that. So that's very cool. Or like a tabletop. <gasps> New Hephaestus voice. Voice unlocked. Who is that? Looks like there's another node on the other side. Near that door. Go to your channel. Okay, hot take. This actually might not be that hot, but hot take. Um, I like in Cauldron Epsilon. Let me know if you guys agree. That's a lot of lava. We're not in burning shores yet. Illegal. Okay, where do we jump on again? Oh, wait, we just glide. Yeah. I like that there's parts where you actually have to glide because it does add to the feeling that cauldrons were not designed for uh, for us. Is that that's a that's a machine gun right there? You can see it carrying it. I think that's one of the ones from the Thunder Jet, right? Oh boy! They could just make it easy for us and make the entire planet the map. Easy. Barely an inconvenience. She's in the air. Don't let go, Aloy. Yep, wasn't planning on it. Oh man. Oh. oh no, did I glitch out? Hopefully it wasn't the whole stream, but uh, uh, the, I was asking about the Hephaestus voice because it changed a little bit, Same, similar to Hades from Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. I thought the voice in, um, in Zero Dawn was a bit more intimidating, a bit better. Still great in this game, the, the difference isn't huge, but... I think we're just about at the core now. Horizon 3, Hawaii and Alaska. Hey. Wrath of Remarter than every human combined. True, true. He is still very successful. <laughs> but was he he was supposed to be like a climate control thing, right? Or like a, a green kind of endeavor. I can't remember now. Taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. They used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. The goddess. Ah, okay, I'm excited for this fight. Of One of two in-game fights not in the arena with grim horns. It's gonna be a blast. Probably literally. Yeah, in, in Frozen Wilds, he was a lot more lower and like more monotone, if that's possible. And just like very scary. Hades is better in this game, though, I would say. What has Hephaestus done to her? Turn it into a weapon. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. This is so sad for Zoe, though. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become, if one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Are we gonna die? Probably. Are you ready? Just, just get that, get that ready, preemptively maybe. You know. Oh, Varl is still smiling. He's supportive. Oh my God. We have to get down Why there. is he perfect? Black Daisies. Hey, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. You came at an opportune time. We are about to uh, die a lot. <laughs> it's going to be very grim. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Oh yes, I want to try and get those cluster launchers. Oh yeah, what's it weak to? 
Acid and purge water? Well, I have one of those. A death count, yes. It's a... Uh, it's a great reminder of my shame. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that's really cool. To shut it down. I love this game so much. Have I mentioned that? Just the detail. Okay, that's enough. I could do that all night. That's this is the stream, guys. Let's just no, no, no. <laughs> Hold up. I'm attacking the orb with as many different weapons as possible. Fast and oh, the orb fought back. Oh my god. All right, where are we on power shots? Not even close to being full. By the end of the fight, we might have enough though. Let's do it. Varl is still smiling. Too soon. It will forever be too soon. Let's go! Then I'll get the big guy! Ouch! Okay, it's not instant kill like the freaking disc launchers are. That's one. That's a scrapper. Okay, I'm honestly more scared of the scrapper than the freaking Grimhorn. Missed, and that's okay. Thanks, Varl. Turn around. Turn around, big guy. Other way. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. Ah! Got it. Nope. Got it. <laughs> Let's get that off, shall we? It's still such a shame that there's no wild grip It's Like, I don't get why. It they have reason to exist. I mean, Apex machines exist, right? Oops, that was a complete miss. Design machine with a lot of detail on them, so it's a shame that you don't fight that many. Like, I guess they have a lot of the same attack patterns as uh, plow horns, but still, not really. <laughs> guys are a lot more aggressive. That was a mistake. <laughs> Let's knock him down. Come on, fall over. All right. How do we have these things now? Who's left, anyways? Long leg and two scrappers. Okay, let's kill the scrappers. This heavy weapon actually feels good, unlike a lot of them. Ah, uh, is it gonna go up? Let's see. Alrighty. Success. Poor Fa, she really didn't deserve it. I know, I feel... All the land gods, you feel bad for them, but at least god. we can fix some of them. Just not Fa. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people. One step at a time. But it starts now. 
Now, what's different between this scene and the one with Araya? I guess Aloy's just stronger. I don't know. Oh no, it was Araya's blue cables. It conducted the electricity more. Oh no. Nah, she just ate a bunch of berries before doing this, and so she was fine. Yeah, Varl's um, call-outs Black Daisies are really funny sometimes. Aloy, do you need some ammo? Yes, please. Varl, I'm hiding. Up we go. There's more. Like this is just said, the beginning. This is only the beginning. Isn't that how Dune 1 ends? Alrighty. Uh... Sir, I'd like Able, that loot. Core. My focus is showing holograms on it. Wait. They look like machines. Overrides. Knowledge on how to tame Can machines. we get up there? We better. Sub-Zero, good to see you. Thanks for joining the stream. Hephaestus. Yeah. <laughs> Our boy, our, our poor, misunderstood boy, Hephaestus. Good use of this. All right, come on, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna try one more time. So sad. That long leg probably has like two thousand shards. Ah! Can I get back up there? They can loot it from here. Okay, fine. Whatever game. Screw you. It's also a cool uh, detail that this track actually does go all the way from here to the entrance of the, uh, the repair bay right here. Let's get all the loot and then get those corrupted overrides. Oh, we get uh, bristlebacks now, don't we? Not that I ever use them, but um, we have them. I'm actually so sad about that long leg, though, man. <laughs> yeah, Scarlet. The uh, the mention of Cauldron Epsilon is really cool, and I love that in uh, in Gemini, he does call out every single Cauldron that you've done up till that point. Wish I knew how to restore them. And there's data here from machines I haven't scanned yet. Ooh, spicy. Got what you need. Is it just? Let's press on then. Biohorns and Bristlebacks? Or does it not show the data for the machines you haven't scanned yet? That might make more sense. The Eye of the Earth. Not the Eye of the World, the first book of my favorite book series. But close enough. Okay, I think that's everything. Got some skill points. Let's do that right now. Um, actually, question for you guys. What would you go for for skills? Um, I've got... I've, I've been thinking about going heavier into the melee combos because we're doing a lot of that and we're going to get into Tanakh territory soon. Uh, I could always just go into more Infiltrator or Survivor just for general goodness. General goodness. I could get Focused Shot, but without a reticle, it's not going to be as effective because I'm going to miss a lot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have any, uh, any recommendations. Now that we're going to get a, a Bolt Blaster soon, actually, it might be good to do Ranged Master, because that combo is killer. Greetings, graduates of Great Online. Welcome to the regional... Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, no. I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Okay, the smoke alarm went off briefly, but it's, it's done. <laughs> if it happens again, I'll just mute myself briefly. Oh, I forgot just how much, how excited I was when I heard Minerva, and I was like, oh my god, we're getting a Gladys. We're getting crazed AI, freaky, like, portal vibes. And then, like, we didn't really get that. We got it for, like, a minute, but I'm just, I mean, it's, at least it's something, I guess. Attention. Hashtag Minerva oh, deserved better. 
Like, oh, that's so creepy. I love her. Be scarier. We can take it. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Just gotta play the, the Gladys oh, soundbite. Yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. What could have okay. been? We'll be right here if you need us. Zo is doing cardio on a treadmill. Continue your cardio, Zo. It'll make you feel better. How, how are you guys holding up? Zo is deep in thought. Varl is posing? What a... What a man. <laughs> um, Varl? Hi. Nora's next top model. This is very important. I am... Yeah, we have Gaia to get to, I realize, but this is more important. Impeccable. Impeccable. I realized um, on PC, the photos that you take don't actually automatically hide the UI, so you have to do it manually. And a bunch of photos I got last stream, I did not hide the, the UI. And so they are useless now. I'm very sad about that. I didn't actually see the uh, the cardio MA and Black Daisies, but I can imagine what it looked like. <laughs> I'm quite familiar with how okay. these side characters I behave sometimes. Minerva hacked your smoke alarm. She True, she wants us to get out. Facility systems. We deserved more sub-function evilness. I agree. It sucks that you can't go back down the stairs. I have tried that MA. It is too bad that you can't. Alert. Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Minerva, I just, I just want a hug. Don't you just want a hug? Huh. Might be able to pull that open. Arnold, what are you looking at? He's just, he's just considering all of his decisions up to now. Should I have left the sacred lands? Probably not. But I'm glad he did because without him, I don't think Aloy would have succeeded. So. I hear green shine. Might be a way out of this shaft. Give me my shinies. Oh, it's a it's a whole fragment. Well, lucky day. This is the, the vault, right? Looks like another part yeah. of the facility. I bawled my eyes out when I did that for the first time. Oh my god. So sad. So let's just move on, shall we? And yeah, I have come here before doing this quest, and you definitely can't get in. Find a way back into the facility. The wall is stuck, and you can't break through it. But I was curious. Uh, right there. Close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally, bring her back, and we can start fixing the blight. The storms. Ooh, what? And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Oh, there's another stalactite right there. Yeah. I like that when dialogue triggers um, while you're climbing, she does actually sound tired. Like she's panting. It's a little funny if you then stop climbing, but you know. There we 
go. Just about back inside. Look at, look at all them berries. That's a lot of berries. Also, I completely forgot this is here. Pretty, uh, pretty lake. out of caffeine which is very sad what are we gonna do could someone just email me some caffeine really quick really appreciate that <laughs> just a picture of coffee that that'll do it you know okay now i've got to find a way to plug into this place oops it's too bad you can't get back up here as well not that there really is any reason but it'd be cool wonder what it's for. Is there anything else around the edge here? I don't think so. But we're going to be thorough. Nope, there it is. Nothing else. Okay. Here we go. Black Daisies, thank you so much. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, oh yeah, we still got to actually insert the kernel. I never checked. What's below this platform? Oh, it's just it's just floor. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay, but this cutscene is actually super sad before it gets happy. As a Minerva stand, this is not a fun cutscene. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? I appreciate the teapots, thank you. I was actually drinking tea, so that works out. You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. That musical motif is very zeroed on, which is fitting. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. No! I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Is it the cease? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. So sad. Okay, bye Minerva. We loved you for the brief moment that we got. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Why did they include the giant holographic Elizabeth? Because like if it were actually Elizabeth doing it, would you wish to initiate just heuristic matrix? A little funny. Here goes. Also, oh, they recolored Minerva to be yellow, which is interesting. Mom? Mom, is that you? Gaia. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. I'm expressing joy. I love it. Scanning data. Oh, no. No, we're gonna get the Rost, the Rost photo. I'm gonna be sad. Uh... It's mom and dad. Mom and dad in the same scene, guys. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, 
I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, Windows 11 starting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. It's still, it's still a little bonkers that you get Gaia back online this early in the game. Like, I thought okay, the whole point of this game was just to get to this them. end point. Okay. And we're only a third of the they way done. They don't have a lot of experience. They cover so like... much ground. Well, you. Varl just casually meeting his deity that he worships. That's fine. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Varl, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Gaia's oh, still, man. Uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Varl just awkwardly bows. I mean, what else are you supposed to do in this case? Yeah. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Sorry, we did get that weird photo of Varl. Gaia is also posing for us? What is happening? The black and white is very dramatic. Horizon Runway? Excuse me? Wow. She's a goddess. Literally. Okay. Let's let's keep playing, shall we? It would have been cool if they could have mentioned the regional control bases in Zero Dawn. I wonder during Zero Dawn development if they knew this was what was going to happen. They must have, right? It would have been a cool bit of foreshadowing if they mentioned those. And then Ailey would have been so surprised, and us as players have been like, ah, yeah, I heard about that. I love how nervous Aloy is in this scene. I think there's a little bit of reverence from her for Guy there. I mean, yeah, that and the fact that, like, she's finally accomplished the single task that she's been single-mindedly trying to achieve for six months, which is... Sounds good, M.A. Thanks for sticking around, uh, and we'll catch you later. Have a good rest of the uh, day slash night. This? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. So weird seeing it, Baron. Of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Not them already talking about having kids. I mean, during the cutscene, dying plea in Zero Dawn, the clothes of Gaia changed color. The red was the best. Oh yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking. I just did that scene on my uh, Zero Dawn playthrough, kind of to match like. The state, emotion. It'd be cool if this guy did something similar as well. So this was supposed to be the lab. Why didn't they? Remember that guy nope. I told you about? Ted Farrow? Mm. He sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Oh, Ted. If only we got the chance to kill him ourselves, right? <laughs> I don't actually Looks think like they should have done that. I'm glad All with right. what we got. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. No comment from Aloy. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Sorry, they just, they keep giving us these killer poses. I'm like, I'm shook. This is Varl. Is this your calling? This is, this is some Zara model shit. Like, <laughs> hold on. Look at that. Iconic. Ted, more like dead. Mm-hmm. 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 Question mark. 
What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. It might just be a case of they couldn't make a huge space for gameplay, but it's interesting that this implies there would have only been like four to eight operatives. You'd think there'd be a little bit hey, more. Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. All right, downstairs. Through that door is a trail that leads oh, towards. Oh, that goes outside, song. right? So I could head back east if I need to once we're done here. Correct. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Oh, Varl. Varl. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense ah, this is Beta's data room. from yeah. the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Can you guys imagine That's being kind of storage room. this iteration of Gaia? You just wake up. You quickly have to, like, because I think, like, you, she would wake up thinking that she's about to start the whole terraforming thing. She quickly has to get acclimatized to what's going on, realize everything's dying, and immediately try and fix it. And she does it all in a couple microseconds. Good for her. She's handling this very well. Uh, what else do we... Oh, we have to actually go to the fabrication terminal. Gotcha. We didn't see it happen, so we don't know if he's... No. I need, I need a bonk stick. Um, I don't have anything, but... Bonk. <laughs> uh, right. Let's fix uh, scrappers. Yeah. Well, cool. I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides, but it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. Did you see that? When Zoe is gliding. To the control room. We have much to discuss. Okay, get ready, y'all. What time is it? It's 9 p.m. on my end. Let's see how long this goes. I do want to listen to everything. Shall we expose it? I think we shall. Hello, Aloy. You always get the weird black border on the subtitle here. So you're... I guess because Guy is too bright. Yes. It had to include it. is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Subordinate functions and the strangers. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. Scarlet, I, I guess that is true. We don't know anything. Um, lab, but given that the whole the only reactor found. melted down, I would say it's for certain, but like, uh, never know. The sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. <laughs> it started on Africa, and I'm just like, imagine if we had to go there. Oh boy. I like to think that those are the locations of, um... Those little dots, those are locations of spires. But I don't think that's the case because it, when we actually do see the America, like the United States of America, uh, it shows some where the Forbidden West map is and we don't see any spires. So anyways, yeah, would have been cool to see more spires in Forbidden West. Yeah, like there's clearly one right there right next to San Francisco or the general San Francisco area, so. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Convenient. And Hephaestus? About it that. Too stands revealed. But it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, Cauldron Scarlet, that would make sense. Yeah. Signal. Hephaestus has evolved. 
Although in that case, I would have expected there to be more dots, maybe. Yeah. Haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet. No, that, that might be the right amount, actually. I don't know. Difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad. Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. I stayed up way too late last night grinding machines. Forbidden West is important, as important as sleep. So I'm kidding. He's, he's getting some good rest. <laughs> How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Ted survived. He's now a sentient blob with a collapsed a building on top of him. I'm okay sword? with that. That feels like yes. a fitting, a fitting end to him. capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. On my new game plus, I did actually test that out. And if you do have a subordinate function loaded in, you, she will be like, ah, can't pick this one up if you go to a different one. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else I expected, but. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes. This was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Hmm. Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not What come if from Ted Aloy. is vast silver? Oh, oh boy. I'd be sad because that means no more vast silver. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated. Again, we, we go back to just everyone is vast silver. That's my theory. We are all collectively him, her, it, them. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611. I remember there being a post on Reddit about this math actually being a bit off. We're not going to think too hard about it. I did an astronomy course. Never again. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. What's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? Are you serious? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? Because they suck. <laughs> they didn't want anyone to know. Anyways. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. Like, a little bit true, but not quite. It's still, it's still so, so bonkers that they're actually Far Zenith. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Sun wings. Oh, I miss them. And chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Tinfoil hat time. What if Ted uploaded his work. consciousness? Oh no. Irregular. And merged with vast silver and scarlet. Terms, I agree. Doesn't deserve that. <laughs> No one deserves to share their skull with like Ted Pharaoh. They need to be but again. 
it's something that Ted would try, honestly. If they like if his presence was back in the next game, oh god, it would be fun to take him down again, gotta say. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, I actually just started watching um, Foundation based off of the popular book series. The of and uh, if any of you guys have watched it as well, there's a lot of similarities to uh, Zero Dawn, I found. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy understandable he appears to have been pathologically narcissistic impulsive <gasps> true scarlet they are right above us on the mountain aren't they oh we're gonna get so many more machines now that we're across the mountains purpose, or we're prevented from doing so do you still need them if attainable yes restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density unfortunately i have no way to track them they have disappeared without a trace yeah, this is what we were touching on during the last stream. It's a bit weird, but so Apollo, like the data itself got um, like deleted, purged by Ted, but the sub function itself, like that whole structure um, and just framework still exists. And so we still actually like he is still like a sentient. This is my understanding, at least he is still a sentient AI somewhere out there. Apollo, he just doesn't have any of the actual knowledge with him. And so I believe the Zeniths found him. And we could actually, if we could get him on the kernel, it would still help Gaia because it would still have that like framework code as a subfunction. Anyways, not not important, but. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. I wonder if we Why? met the the sentient Apollo, he would just be so value, sad. He would just be crying the whole time. The most important. Only by recovering and merging. Knowing Ted, he would probably try to kill his copy because he thinks he can be the only Ted. Yeah, the I could see that. Yeah. Only through it we we love Ted Farrow here. Great guy. Stand up, gentlemen. Machines ...to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Are any of you guys fans of the, uh, the Vulcan theory, where Gaia will make, or we together with Gaia will make some replacement for Hephaestus in Horizon 3? Uh, I think I could see that happening. There's a lot of dialogue and quotes that kind of support that. Given Hephaestus's importance, Data points is as well. there really no way to At the end of the game. and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched Sad. and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. Uh, yeah, Scarlet, they had the, um, the original, like, the alpha build of, um, was it an alpha build or a full build? I think it was an alpha build of, uh, Apollo when they went to Sirius, but when they came back, um, we know that they collected, um, or they are currently collecting Luthia and Artemis. I believe they also collected the version of Apollo on on Earth right now because they would have needed that for their version of Gaia for the heuristic processing matrix density blah 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 but they do also have the data to actually fill Apollo with if that makes sense that's that's at least my understanding how do we trap him we ask politely and hope we roll a natural 20 right you said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place full copy of Apollo on the ship yeah or at least an alpha Unlike build which probably was like good enough find a discrete physical process sad Apollo Hephaestus yeah is distributed well, yeah there is I think there is ascension to Apollo somewhere that's the implication so when the time comes to would have been funny to chat with him we make that happen I do not know while you are retreating Aloy what is one plus one I don't know I cries to find a solution so 
Once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? Talking is already it off the table, but that is fair. Necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. <laughs> Gaia, unfortunately, if you would look outside this right now, there's a thunder jaw right there. Hmm. No, I get what she means, though. Oh, so many questions. The plan. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy Yeah, I remember when this was right? happening, like, something didn't quite why line up. I was like, far Zenith want to do that? why would they need to clean that Slate Earth? There's a little bit more of the story, that's why. no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that. If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. No thanks. Snuff out life. Hard pass. And then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Basically Hades 2.0, really. In order to access Gaia, please enter the answer to the skill testing question. Oh man, what would be a funny one that like we would know so obviously, but she wouldn't because Apollo got purged. Ooh, that would be unfortunate. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers or 8.611 light years. Right. So how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average yeah, of that is fast. the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, which is the not the case. Was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Black Daisies, that's the question. That's what she had to solve. What percentage of the speed of light? I mean, God knows I've solved enough of those questions in physics class. So did the Zeniths not make any offspring, Daniel? Good question. I, I wonder if the, the life um, extension technologies maybe made some of them sterile? Maybe that was like a side effect, or... Um, they just didn't have enough time for it. No, they were on they were on Sirius for quite some time, so that's a good question. Yeah. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they they had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's Maybe space consistent made them the infertile, like the radiation up there. Could be. Right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled. With Project Anzu, knowledge, or and something like that. Ship in storage. That's okay, but I mean, this this clone. How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... it's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. 
Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Oh no, the beginning of the... The sister infighting. Uh, it's it's a good character arc, but I do wish Aloy was more understanding because, like, gosh, has Beta just gone through it? Scarlet, you really shouldn't have misgivings about killing the Zeniths. They deserve it. Yeah, they are the worst. Like, truly. The so bad. Signal didn't just wake Hades. Happily, it happily shoot them in my boat. Self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial oh, sentient. Oh, that's. That's Hephaestus. That's a mistake. Oh no, I never noticed that. It's imparted to other subordinate hmm. functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Or is just an yes. highly advanced AI. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, well Gaia might get the chance to meet them soon, am I right? So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. I'm realizing I probably should have taken Aloy's helmet off for this. Let's just do that really quick. Um, yeah, Daniel, I, I, um, I could see them, like, like you said, Scarlet, just like not wanting to do that just because they don't care. And maybe if they did ever have that desire, they could just hop into VR and like have a family or like try a family out for size in there. That feels like something the Zeniths would do. I don't know. But yeah, they had those VR sims. So I guess they kind of were just doing their own, own thing for 700 years. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? This armor looks weird. The key without the headpiece, I gotta say. Focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself oh, up? Oh, this was the because mistake, the I think. Because didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Oh, wait. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. No, that makes so sense. I take it back. <laughs> Ignore me. Gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind... I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Farzina's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Makes sense. The biosphere. How what are we is doing? The state of the biosphere? Not is good, the isn't it? At this point, like a couple months or something? All? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve. Water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections curtailed. Will not man, she's got a great collapse. vocabulary. They will only buy us time. 
Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Now, if they could, like, bioengineer the blight to be, like, edible, what a great food source. It just, it just grows everywhere, anywhere, easy. Problem solved, y'all. How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return Ugh. in approximately four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Does that mean that the, the time between Horizon 2 and 3 has to be really short? Because, uh... Mr. Rock, good to see you. Maybe they did uh, have some offspring, but left them to die in the second extinction. Oh. Yeah, that would be something they would do, eh? Prioritize themselves over their offspring. Oh. That's a good, that's a good theory. Because, I mean, maybe they did try and save them, but they just couldn't because they barely got out themselves. Yeah. Uh, would you want to be immortal? Ooh. I would, with the caveat that I could turn the immortality off if I wanted to. Um, if it were like true, true immortality, maybe not. But, oh, I don't know. That's a tough question. How would the machines get new tasks via Minerva? Um... Yeah, I guess so. That makes sense, right? Like, connect to the Tallneck network and then uh, broadcast in that way. And I assume there's still a lot of spires, even though we only know the location of one. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate Override what, whatever Hephaestus has what told them to do a little bit. about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself... Ooh. Uh, comment in the chat, which one should we do first? I'm thinking... I'm thinking Vegas, but, uh, so let me know. Each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Might make more sense to start with Aether. Aether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Demeter, ooh, hot take, Scarlet. Let's do it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert. Mm, south of Alva, this that would prioritize Alva. I'm okay Our with that. Geography data oh, but Black Deities, Catalo, you're right. Oh, settlement called and the Osiram, Moreland. They're all so good. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? What do we do? Strange place for an AI we do them all at the same time. I have three Agreed. instances of the game running. As for Demeter, Let's do it. It appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? True, Scarlet. I think maybe you could argue the Still Sands aren't technically Tanakh territory because they don't go that far because there's no water, really. Huh, well, little do, do they know. Um, but yeah, they kind of are all in the clan lands, aren't they? Um, let's just, let's just say Aether, but then we'll decide afterwards. I think I'll head for Aether. I think it might be fun then to do Demeter first. Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Oh yeah, we should do either last, because I like the storms. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything nice. else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Sad. Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? 
A slight voice crack. Absolutely. Oh. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction. The stand of the Sentinels success. is really pretty. In yeah. You, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Thanks, well, Mom. Is that mom? I, going. I guess this I is stepmom, right? Because she's not the original one. <laughs> one leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> yeah. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Guys, only like... 13 more streams until we get Gildan in on the, uh, the focus, eh? Now, was this actually... She did this to show East. I want to see if... Oh! Oh, yeah, lore. Okay, cool. Is it actually East? It is! Well done, Gaia. She knows her left and rights. Awesome, okay. Whew, we made it. It was a 30-minute okay. dialogue, but I it's some good dialogue. For Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. I'm so excited to get first. back into the clan lines. Doing after the attack. Yes. Or I, I think it'll be better out here some more. If you don't get them and let the earth die, it should stop Nemesis from being interested. That's IQ 3000 solution right there. Ah, oh, it's such a good I vista. I need to head further west. I remember being so excited, like just so many locations. You can already see the Horus, that band stronger. camp over there. You Rebel camp, I guess. In the meantime. Gaia can help get you up to speed. Oh yeah, and Zoe finally has her, her headpiece off to too. Out. This it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place if you to weren't aware, and like you said, at this Gaia point already, us, catch us up. Oh my God! We'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for back. Mr. Rock! Oh my gosh! While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for me. So glad to finally get, get to play this game as a PC gamer. We'll Loved do. watching your playthrough when it first came out. Oh my gosh! Go that is him? so generous! Yeah. Wow! I, that's the first um, what happened in the cave super chat I've ever received. I want to stay here a while. Oh my god, I, I really, really appreciate that. That is so, so generous. And I'm, I'm so glad you're able to play this game, finally. It's, I'll have a thing or two I, can I mean, teach you. such an impactful game for me and one of my favorites of all time. Um, and I hope you're enjoying it, but wow, that is like truly, back? truly so generous. Um, I'm not sure. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thanks for, for being here. Missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little like shook. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. <laughs> she just quickly went, I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. Wow, oh my god. Sorry, I need to like take a moment. I wish I had like a blackboard or something that I could put your name on and just have that in the background. I gotta, I gotta figure out something like that. Um, thank you so much. I like speechless. That's so kind. There's a notification under it that says let's celebrate their third super on a live stream. And now I'm concerned that I've missed supers in the background at one point i don't think i have um yeah I i'd love to know mr rock uh what part of the game you're at i know you you've already seen the whole um playthrough it sounds like so you know the whole story but okay i like to think of this as like the end of act one of forbidden west and we are starting act two the clan lands that is super exciting uh what time is it? it's 9 30 i'll still go for like an hour or so uh i'm i'm too excited to to not keep going. Uh, oh, yes, and this merchant, I believe, has our first bolt blaster and just our first very rare gear uh, in general. Let's see. 
Uh, nothing very rare yet. Okay, I lied, but once we get to Scalding Spear, there'll be some stuff. Shock Bolt Blaster, I will probably buy immediately. Um, although I can't remember if there's a better one in, uh, Scalding Spear. I think the, the multi-element one might be there, so I might just wait and hold off on buying that. Nor Sentinel, we saw this back in Plain Song, but I haven't bought it yet. I'm gonna save my shards. She is always so intense. Might as well. Might as well listen to the rumor. Why not? You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy was They fight, get really bad PR in the East. Stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there That's where the ground is made far of here. metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be wary. Appreciate the warning. Cauldron Iota, the best cauldron in the game. We might get to that uh, next stream. Might be a cauldron. And where there's a cauldron, there's machine overrides. Damn right, all right. Oh, the racers should pass by, right? Somewhere. Uh, ooh, I don't actually have any fire arrows out. I don't know. I have the, the sun-touched hunter bow right here, but uh, the fully upgraded slicing hunter bow was better for tear damage. And I needed bellow back sacks, I think, to upgrade the sun-touched one. So now we can actually do that, now that we're on this side of the mountain. Very excited about that. Sounds good, Daniel. Thanks, as always, for sticking around and chatting. And yeah, have a good rest of the night. Get some sleep. Okie dokie. No apex, guys. We're good. Gosh, what should we do first? There's like so much <laughs> that just became available to us. I guess we could just start traveling to the Stand of the Sentinels. I don't know if we'll start to meet her tonight, but uh, if we get there quickly enough, maybe we will. It's a long quest, though. Thought it was knocked down. It is not. Oh, I just had a fun idea, y'all. Should we go see Tolana? It's, it's way too early in the game for that, right? Like, we gotta fight a Fire Claw and a Tide Ripper. But, we would get the Thunderbolt Shredder Gauntlet. Oh no, sorry. The, um, the Thunder... What's it called? The Lightning Bow? The only bow with shock arrows before, um, the Death Seeker. Which would be really good. But we'd probably die, right? But, like, should we do it? <laughs> fight a, a Fire Claw right now? We'd have Jelana to help us out. And Amatis. Okay. God, it took us that long to fight some Bristlebacks. We probably shouldn't fight a Fireclaw. The reputation of the Tanakh is because they won against the Karja. Yeah, definitely. The Karja had some very big slander campaigns against them. And, like, there is a little bit of truth to some of it, like, the whole blood thing, I believe, was an old, um, Tanakh ritual. I think Hikaru comments on it at some point, right? And the one that we meet in, uh, in Zero Dawn. I forget her name. In the, in the Bandit Camp. She says something about, like, Aloy, take my blood, I think, into your own? I don't quite remember, though. But, yeah, it's very much not the case now. They are very honorable fighters for the most part. Is 
there? I think there's just loot up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do the desert quests as well, fight a thunder job, but no, I think let's just go for Demeter. Cross as much of the west as we can. And have some good ma uh, machine fights on the way. What are those? Oh, long legs, that's fine. That's, is that Apex? I don't want to fight if it's Apex. Ooh, yep, yeah, no, no thank you. What level is that? 32. I mean, we might be able to do it, but there's probably another one nearby, right? Yeah, no, we're getting out of here. About to start the Demeter quest myself soon. Sounds great. Ended up spending so much time going on side quests that I'm a little overpowered at level 40. That's how it goes, right? I mean, this game has amazing side quests. They put so much effort into just like the cutscenes, the dialogue. Um, I mean, some of them can get a little bit like fetch questy, but that's fine, honestly. If you're just exploring cool locales, having great machine fights, and again, some really, really great cutscenes. Does that mean that you've already got uh, Aether and Poseidon, I imagine? I will never be able to hunt these guys. I respect that Gorilla left like all mention of the Quen out of the marketing for this game, uh, with the exception of a couple of scenes of uh, Alva in the trailer, so that when you do get to Demeter, it's quite a surprise. Like, you're not expecting there to be a whole other tribe in the game. At least, I wasn't. That's, uh, a black box? Or is the black box up here? Can't quite remember. Do you need to kill some of these guys, though? Bleeding mark? Uh, we could do that, but I think I will pass on it for now. It was not Katalo who talked about the lore, it is, uh... Oh, it's the Fush... That's, that's right, yeah. I forget which one, but I do remember seeing that in one of those notes. A strong color on this. I'm glad we got a little bit more of uh, Fashav out of those notes. Still wish we would have gotten more out of the, you know, the alive guy, but take what we can get. Six skill points, gotta spend those later. I think it makes sense to pit stop at Scalding Spear, get some gear there. There's a storm on the rise? Nope. Oh, 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 just sky drifters? We can take that. It's not gonna take much damage from fire. Yeah, we do gotta be careful because the machines out here will destroy us so fast. Where is this? I don't remember this little, like... Oh, another one up there. Keeping my eye out for Apex ones. Should only take three arrows? Perfect. Down it goes. Cool. Not too shabby. We're getting there slowly but surely. We're getting back to being powerful ish. We 
we are in a bad spot for this fight. Come on. Oh, it does not want to grapple strike. There we go. Third time to turn. Okay. So the desert clan is... Oh, no, that's the green swell. So desert's actually more that away. Yep. Scanned glyph is the black box lady. Okay, yeah, yeah. The one in the uh, memorial grove there. That is... Dry urn. Which means shining wastes is... There she is. Tall neck in the background too. What a sight, man. It makes me so nostalgic. It's 2024 now, and I remember seeing that in 2020 and just being like, oh, what is that? Like some kind of solar plant, but is it is it raiders? Is it bandits? Nope, it's the Tanakh. Uh, Mr. Rock, so excited to learn more about the Quen in the third game. Do you think it'll take place in Asia, hoping we get to return to Mother's Embrace? For some portion of the last game my my ideal opening to that game would be aloy going back to the uh the embrace with zo to meet sona and just let her know what happened my personal opinion and we talked a bit about this earlier is that i don't think we'll go to the quen homeland in the third game if we do i would see it more as dlc maybe and my main reasoning for that is just because i feel like we have to be somewhat connected to the existing area uh just to keep coming back to places like the base all the tribes that we already know um and it's just, it's just a little far geographically. Like if we had to keep traveling back and forth between the two, I don't know how they would do it. Um, my other thing is maybe we would get like a spin-off game. There's a lot of setup for the Quen stuff in the Burning Shores, that one quest that you do. And if we, if that could lead to like a whole like mini sequel or game in the Quen homeland as a Quen yourself, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I would, I would absolutely love it if we went to the Quen homeland, there is so much story potential there. And even if we don't go, I'm really hoping the Quen still have an active role in the sequel. It's a Sunwing! Should I fight it? I feel like it might like completely destroy us. Uh, there's three of them. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them sunbathe a little longer. They can be not as brutal as water wings, mind you. Those guys suck. Soggy, oh. Sunny, my boy. I'll come back for him. It's fine. Let's just let's just wait for Gemini. I'm so excited for for Gemini, guys. We get the Sunwing. Nothing bad. Oh right, Siggy. I completely forgot about that name, Scarlet. Thank you, Siggy Sigma. Siggy, the best boy. Tanakh settlement. Almost looks like a spear stuck in the sand. Hmm. That's kind of true. And this is where I bought my first ever uh, Tanakh outfit. The skirmisher, I think it's called. That red one. I love it so much. Might end up buying it right now, honestly. Now one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. Tell that to Talana. Passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. Yeah, this Black Daisy is exactly. Some spin-offs internationally would be really cool. Ragala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. For a little bit, I was wondering Keep if maybe the um the multiplayer could take place somewhere else, but I think what they'll probably do is have the multiplayer have tribes that we already know, because that would just be more fun for the fans. And I think in that promotional art that we got, there were tribes like the Karja, the Osiram in there, so probably North America for that one too. But eventually, international games, I totally see that. I mean, I just want to know what's going on in the rest of the world. Okay, where are the merchants? Oh, we could do the melee pit as well, because you know how much we all love melee pits. I actually do quite like them. <laughs> they can be very finicky and annoying, of course, but for the most part, eh. The Enduring, though, the Enduring's rough. 
Is this um bleeding mark? You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zoka. Yes, yeah. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Vareka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. Cinnabar, it's been a I think. long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But the capital's already dealing with machines, storms, and strict water rations. No one can be spared. Trade. Oh, is this the um the face painter? My face paint will strike fear. Yes, we finally get face paint, Take guys. Thank God. I mean, I'm probably just gonna do the Death Seeker, the classic, but but we could play around with it a little bit. I like the Banuke Survivor quite a bit. It's my favorite Banuke one. What do we got? Oh, we already have some Quen ones. I think that's just from the um. Yeah, what is that from? Is that like a bonus or something? I can't remember. I thought these were New Game Plus, but maybe not. Mark of Pride, always a good one as well. well let's just do the Nora Death Seeker. The funny thing about the Death Seeker is it, for some reason, takes away... All of them do. They take away the black eyeliner that Aloy wears. You'd think she'd keep it, but... I wonder if that happens in Zero Dawn 2. Yeah, there she is. She's back. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ashblood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of Ashblood was weeks ago. Oh. Our supply um, is running low. So must be their water. They don't have to worry about water now, if you know what I mean. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village find out what's the delay you have my thanks head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains that's bleeding mark i suppose that water was pretty polluted there. though so they can't really make use of it on. the deluge 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 <laughs> deluge i can say words what are you talking about stitcher okay yeah let's go oh i do love how this one looks but uh we got a Oh, two hunter outfits. What's this one again? This one's for heavy weapons. Yeah, we're going to skip that one. Ah, uh, but the Tanakh Skirmisher. This is a good one. I wore this for a long time in my first playthrough. Uh, I need a Sundwing Circulator, though. Shoot. For both of them. Ugh. That's not good. Uh, well, I'll be back then. <laughs> Team Yar or Team Jiraka. Uh, so I actually, in my New Game Plus file, I still haven't done that quest line, so I still haven't done the Draka option ever. So maybe we'll do it for the stream. I am, I am Team Yara. I got better vibes from her. Um, of course, she has her faults. So does Draka. Um, ideally, none of them would die, but sorry, spoiler if you weren't aware. Uh, but yeah, Team, Team Yara for me. Team Yara, but Draka is like her assistant slash understudy. <laughs> that's, there you go. That's what it should be. Return of the Flies. Oh, is this about uh, the mosquitoes coming back? No. Environmental Risk Management Team has some new members, numbers, and biodiversity rates are up across the board. In particular, three species of fly that were previously thought to be gone from the region have been sighted recently. Not going to try pronouncing that. Yeah, the die-off, I think it's called, in the old world was pretty bad for killing a bunch of species. I do kind of want to read this if you guys don't mind. Uh, Desert Capital is an intimidating place. It houses the imposing tower from which the settlement gets its name, surrounded by a field of strange mirrored plates that resembles a graveyard. Yeah, I guess they'd have no idea what's going on here. From within, Yara rules the clan with cold steel. Its residents hardened by perpetual conflict and harsh environment fear none. I came here to resolve a conflict over the rights to a tattoo, a minor squabble in the eyes of a Karja, but a matter of life and death for the Tanakh. The Tanakh are so cool, guys. Having bled to earn a few of them myself in the field of battle, I feared that neither party would willingly relinquish their claim. So you can imagine my surprise when, upon arrival, I witnessed the two warriors in question coming to a swift agreement. As they saluted each other, a small company broke away from the gathered crowd coming towards us, another marshal and her escorts. Uh, upon seeing me, Morgala stopped and we stood shoulder to shoulder. When we last met, she had looked down on me with utter disgust during the cool route, which makes sense. 
Now, in a moment of tense quiet, she stared at me, her eyes still ablaze with unspeakable malice. Finally, she set off. Only then did I notice our respective escorts releasing their grips on their weapons hilts. Regala has her own way of dealing with disputes upon her arrival. The claimants get one singular chance to come to an agreement. If that attempt bears no fruit, suffice it to say that merely mentioning her involvement is often enough to resolve most claims. An implacable enemy because I am Karja, her revulsion will never abate. I fear that one day we will face each other in a duel that only one can survive. Ooh, I did not read that fully the first time. Yeesh. Back home, they, na they named me Unyielding Vashav for a reason. Hey, he put up a good fight before he went down, I gotta say. Okay, weapons trader, let's do that. That's the Stitcher, they're over here. Team Yara, formerly Team Draka. Oh, I see, you're a convert. <laughs> to trigger Happy Scarlet, that's fair. I, I find, I just, I don't know if, if Draka has enough experience to lead in such a time of crisis. Um, Yara definitely wasn't handling said crisis well enough, but I still have more faith in her, if that makes sense. I don't know. Hey, finally, purge water arrows. That's exciting. <laughs> okay, yes, this is what I was thinking of. I thought this came with shock. I'm thinking of the, the storm one. I forget what it's called, but it has the frost, shock, and plasma. More shredders, yes, please. The first actual rope caster as well, not that I really use them. Ah, I remember this one. This was a good one, but you need Tide Rippers to upgrade it, which is brutal. Death Rattle, Corrosive. Adhesive? Who who uses Adhesive? Please let me know in the chat, um, if I should too. Ooh, okay, not really sure what we should buy though. That buildup is pretty good, and I don't really have Purge Water weapons, so that might be decent to consider. I wouldn't mind upgrading my Shredder. What's our current Shredder do damage-wise? We got this all the way back in Baron Light, so we are due an upgrade. Uh, 23... Oh, no, I used the 3957 ones. And these guys... do quite a bit more. And, I mean, Acid Shredders are also great. Elemental Shredders just rock. Oh, but we need Spikes now and Sunwing. Yeah. Oh, oh, where is the Thunderbolt Shredder sold? You can get a free one on the boat in Legacy's Landfall, but I think you can also buy one. It might be the, um, the Lowland Capital, Thornmarsh. Maybe we just, like, bolt over there, too, and buy that. Some good coils as well, yeah. Oh, oh, some really good coils, yeah. A little expensive right now, though. I haven't sold any of these in a bit. Let's see how much we can get for it. Oh, 1,500 shards, not bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm gonna do the, the melee pit and think about it a little bit. Mr. Rock, I thought Draka was more funny and interesting as a character. Definitely, he's super charismatic, that's for sure. But chose Yara because she felt more responsible. That's kind of how I feel, exactly, yeah. It's just such a shame that it had to come to that conflict. You just got your adhesive weapon from the Utaru quest. Oh, that's right. It's too bad that so many Utaru quests are locked until after the uh, the Dying Lands, because I feel like most players now set off into the West like pretty immediately, and very few actually go back to the East. Um, that might be wrong. I'm just speaking for myself. Like in my playthrough, I didn't go back to Plainsong until like I was done most of the stuff in the West, and there's a lot of low level quests just waiting there. And at that point, you're a bit over leveled. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting I might get the sling. Range, I might get the sling. I don't know. Machines. Or I might just but wait for other merchants. Means getting up in their face. I'm Lee Rocket. I run the training pit here in Scalding Spear. Only a few. I do kind of want to try the Talana quest though. <sighs> Could be fun. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. You can train here if you like, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. If you Let's earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. Okay, I want I want to get to the fighting. More than just a training. Let's do it. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among only Wait, those. Wait, he's actually giving more. I shouldn't skip this. <laughs> 
Including Outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all the pitmasters. So, what will it be? Should you want to practice or take on a challenge, just let me know. Okie dokie challenges. Uh, yeah. So, Warrior's Wrath, nor Warrior. What do we actually have to do? Land a basic combo, follow up with a power attack, and finish with a resonator blast. Easy. Aerial slash, also very easy. Allons-y. The one in the dog was bugged, but I did manage to fix it. Just as you can combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. Not too shabby. So this one is trigger a resonator blast while in the air. Cool. Is that it? Oh. Hello? Aerial slash. Oh, is that the the um the one where you just jump off? Yeah, it is, okay. But then you gotta shoot it? Hold up, I might have to reread the uh Here's something different. Okay, I that want was you to odd. practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. Scarlet, since we are doing Demeter first, is Zoe's entire quest immediately available? Good question. I actually don't know. I you can do um the end of that before Gemini, right? Yeah, yeah, you can. That's a good question. I mean, we could we could see. All right, this is just do the murder real good. I can do that. All right, I yield. That was a good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here. Listen, if all he got from that was a bruise, he's lucky. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thorn Marsh. Earn their marks, then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so, but I think you might have a shot. <laughs> Should if we fight that fire claw? Take on I'm, still, I'm still debating that, y'all. Let me know. The pit will always welcome you. Okay, if we if we don't actually do Talana's quest, because A, it might take too long, it's pretty late, and B, I will That's die. Practice for now. Strike. What's a what's a machine that we should try and strive to take down before the end of the stream? Like, I'm still struggling with Thunder Jaws at this point because of Ultra Hard, so I don't know how how big we should dream right now, you know? Technically, you could go fight a slaughter spine at this point, right? Uh, ooh, I'm gonna grab that. It's so weird that slaughter spines are available early on. I wonder, uh, that Tide Ripper site near Tilda's, does that actually spawn the Tide Ripper before you finish Vegas? Because the ones in the lake don't spawn until until after that. I know that for sure. I don't mind getting a mount. Do I have one? Ah, I do. Hello, good sir. Yeah, Sunwings feels doable, and it sounds like I need a lot of their parts for uh, for some upgrades. I'm excited that we're finally here. Uh, so now when I have like an hour or two to play, but I can't stream, I can just grind machine parts, buy a bunch of stuff so that when we get back to the stream, this guy doesn't have to go up too high. 34. Let's see if we can finish the game below like 60. Probably not. A man can dream.
Wow, I've never skipped through so much content and like area so quickly ever. It feels wrong. <laughs> oh, oh shoot. This is a uh... yeah. Let's avoid that actually. In charge and stop them from causing any more harm. Apex Tracker Burrower. No, thank you. Ooh, roller back two. Yeah, that would be a good fight. That would actually be tricky right now, yeah. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Should we go in? I think we should go in. Like a cauldron. Because I want to be sad. It's offline. Seems like it has some kind of importance to the Tanakh. Oh no. Eh, you get some unique dialogue though, so. Again, I know I keep mentioning, but the scale on these cauldrons in Forbidden West just feels that much bigger. So impressive. Oh, slow rope today. <laughs> Gotta oil that thing. This will break my fall. Very spooky. be an exit somewhere behold everyone this this was the foreshadowing for burning shores <laughs> uh, it's implied that the big one that hit LA was also responsible for this fissure and all the fissures that you see in cauldrons I think Iota also got smacked pretty hard by an earthquake foreshadowing all right let's get out of here I don't want to spend as much or as, I want to spend as little time as possible in this cauldron is that it? Or that's right there, okay. Also, we've been wearing that armor for quite some time. Let's switch it up. Explorer feels fitting for what we're doing right now. <laughs> I remember when I first came here, I thought we actually had to climb that whole distance, and I was so nervous. No thank you. Come on, Ellie. Made it. That was a long climb. And just like that. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you there was like one employee at Gorilla who's like, nah, we should make them climb the whole way. I don't know. I'm glad they got shot down. Uh, ooh, can I get back to my buddy though? Yes, I can. All right, back on the road we go. The lowland cities just do objectively have better stuff on sale, so heading there first just makes more sense. I mean, we won't be able to buy any of it because of the machine components you need, but at least we'll have them. Falls Edge and Thorn Marsh. Ah, it's Vegas. Oh, I want to go so bad. I believe this is the standard route if you're going for Aether, yeah. Oop. We are killing so many animals. I am so sorry. Close to Aether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Okay, let's go hard left. Actually, we do got a cross, I think. Uh, oh no, not really. Let's go this way. Yeah, the world of Horizon feels super big, but when you really put your mind to crossing it, you can get there pretty quickly. We're already, what, like halfway there? I guess we'll get to the Stand of the Sentinels from the south. We'll, we'll, we'll hit the beach and then go up from there. Oh, 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 no, that's the Deca quest. Let's not go there. 
That is a very fun rebel outpost. Probably the most fun outpost. Uh, the camps, of course, are a bit more involved. Ooh! No merci. I hate these guys. They're weak to plasma, I think, which is so weird. Yeah. Uh, there's probably more than one, which makes me not want to fight them. Uh, let's try it. Probably gonna die. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna ding that one. Um. I have no words. Wow. I'm like, listen, I've played, like, I played Burning Shores, like, on my PlayStation file, I only play on Ultra Hard now. How? <laughs> I guess it's the armor, but I am wearing my best armor, right? It's not weak to acid. Wow. I am shooketh. Let's just let's just skip them and I, and I want to go fight a fire claw, you guys. <laughs> oh, this exploration track is called um Shoot, it's, it's one of my favorites. It doesn't play too often, I find. And it's in all its splendor, I think? Something, something splendor, but it's super, super pretty. Wow. The acid claw striders got us. Wow. Okay. Let's take my bruised ego and run, shall we? No, you should get the hell out. Rude. So rude. Oh. I thought I heard clam jaws. I think I do. Yep. Not doing that. Let's let's keep it going, shall we? This one has the uh, the Varl outfit, the Norm Valiant, I think it's called. I might actually buy that if we can, because it's quite good. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna fight the Clamber Jaws. Uh, the Hard Weave is nice too. Stalkers are easier to fight than Clamber Jaws. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna die. Let's do it. Hey, Tanakh the Dragoon, looking good on you. I want that outfit so bad. It's my favorite Tanakh outfit. It's sold at uh, Falls Edge, which is close by. We'll probably stop by there soon. If stalkers are that way, but the Clamber Jaws... Right there. Oh, God. Oh, and there's a Stalker. This is going to go well, everyone. I'm excited. Uh, how do we want to approach this? I guess just power shots again. Oh, okay, okay. Their sparker is visible at least, so I can use that to my advantage. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're so dead. The stalker sees us. Yep, I heard his tail for his uh, dark gun. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a break. Have a kick, cat. Let's get back up here. Let's 
combat track always makes me uh, think of Clamor Jaws, which is fitting. Very fitting right now. Okay, okay. At least they don't seem to be pathing up here, so I think we're safe. Except for, you know, the fire. Nope, I spoke too soon. No ma'am. No ma'am. I gotta hit that sparker. Start gunning. Yeah, careful, that's gonna kill me. In one shot, probably. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Okay, I might get lucky here. Got lucky. There we go. I'm not gonna grab the strike because I just want to leave him down for as long as possible and just deal with this guy. There's someone behind me? What is that? No, no, uh nope. Grass, grass, grass. Okay. Is that a new one? Or is that. The one from earlier, I don't know. We have power shots. I don't have any power shots. Whew. Okay. They're close together. Let's do one of these. Dark gun. I heard it. I could try and freeze them, maybe? That might help. I if they're resistant to it. I'll check in a sec. God is exposed. Okay. He's alone, so I might be able to get some shots on here. Okay, got it. So nervous. That's one. Okay. Ooh. Just one. But I'll take it. Dark gun. I see you, stalker. Getting some Valor build up, that's useful. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. I gotta get that gun off, it's gonna kill me. I love this game. I'm having so much fun. Gladys is motivating me. Let's go. Where's that stalker? That was close. Let's go back to the shredder. Nope, just kidding. Let's trigger a knockdown, come on. Knockdown. Ah, dark gun, dark gun. Careful. I hate getting locked into animations like that. 
Stalking us. Dead. Ooh, that was close. Uh, when you do a brace shot, you kind of get stuck into that animation for a couple seconds, and I thought that was it. Okay, okay. And I wanted to fight a fire claw. Oh, that's too close. I might use a smoke bomb and try and get the uh, disc, not disc, dart launcher off from stealth just to be extra safe. And there should still be a clamber jaw somewhere, but if it's just the one, I think we can take it. Okay. There's the stalker. Right there. I don't know if he sees us. He might. Okay, let's get to that. Let's get down to the grass. We can't die now, guys. We're so close. Why? <laughs> really wish I had an aiming reticle right about now. Ah, I got it off. All right, let's go. Where is he? Okay, I'm I'm a lot less worried now. But that's gone. Oh wait, there's explosives all around him. Oh shoot! I mean, you know it's the I'm fact that I called it. Please. It's the fact that I called the explosives before it happened that really gets me. How long was that? Was that like 10 minutes? Wow. <laughs> I was like, maybe I shouldn't grapple into the minefield. <laughs> that was fun, though. I had a good time. Sorry, y'all. I, I kind of, like, just focused solely on not dying there for a minute or two. That was fun. Oh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I do still need one, though. <laughs> Maybe I can find, like, an isolated clamber jar or something. Uh, I don't really want to fight them again, though. That was kind of torturous. Maybe we should just keep going. Yep. Thank you guys for sticking by me there. That was... interesting. Uh, it was the grapple strike. The grapple strike was our downfall, you guys. Who knew? Okay. I don't, I don't hate stalkers that much, but like I hate them right now. I don't like clamber jaws a lot more than I don't like trampers. I think there's a metal flower here, right? Yeah. Cool spot for photos though. Let's just go on a scenic, scenic, beautiful, Lovely stroll. Surely there'll be no machines. Surely we can just get to the beach, lie in the sand. What? No. <laughs> Hold up, there's rebels there, right? Maybe I should take them out. Could loop the Thunderjaw. But they're gonna have like a heavy with them, won't they? I might die. Let's see. Level 25. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna chicken out. I'm proud to say I will not win that fight, and I'm gonna chicken out because uh, oh boy. Oh, this is the scripted one. Yeah, yeah. Good. 
start with a freaking acid boss rider. No, thank you. Not here for it, thank you very much. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Let's get the gun off. Nope, we're just grab the straight It's moving around too much. Break the uh, sack too, which is nice. I do wonder if Ultra Hard makes our allies better too, because they're putting up a good fight here. Like, yeah, that's it. I have to say, you're much better fighting than me. Ah, nah, you're probably great. Uh, I'll just face a tank. Sorry, I'll just face tank a third of their attacks while I try to snipe. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yep. I. I used to do that, and then I decided to do ultra hard and regretted all of my life's decisions. Stranger, a word? Alrighty. Hair as red Ooh. as the blight. I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on Don't me. Don't know if I love that comparison. You're Aloy, <laughs> the one who defeated Regal's Hair as red as the blight. My name's Katak, nice. leader of Fox Squad for the Lowland Clan. Sorry for our unannounced entrance. Looks like you were well prepared. Lowlanders know how to use the element of surprise to their advantage. So we get the job done. Are you here to take back Fenrise? Fenrise? <laughs> Let's go do Fenrise, Lowland guys. Lowland <laughs> village southwest of here. It's been taken over by rebels. Oh. I assume they might be your next target if you're battling Regala's forces. Um, Are we? Sorry, I'm just. Are we battling here. Regala's forces? I guess My so. My squad's been cutting their supply lines where we can, but eventually we'll have to attack the village directly. We could use a soldier like you. If I'm in the area, I'll see what I can do. May the Ten see to it. But before you go, I'm sure Chief Hikaru would hate it if his own clan didn't thank you for what you've done in the fight against Regala. Thanks. May our next meeting be in victory. We get a, uh, a face paint out of this, right? Or a die? Yeah, the Lens Stalker. It's cool. So if you miss this encounter, then you miss out on that, which is too bad. Um, Mr. Rock and. Oh, Cold Sands as well? You get both? Interesting. Uh, I was going to ask, and sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, now that you're finally playing it on PC, is there like a weapon that you expected not to like that much or to use that much that you find is actually quite good or vice versa? Uh, I'm always curious to hear about people's different play styles. I tend to like get into the same weapons all the time. Bolt blasters and sharp shots and that's about it. But I'm trying to diversify a bit more. Still haven't used canister rope casters that much. I'd love to play with those a bit more, but uh, just trying not to die right now. And not really succeeding at that, am I? I guess we're on foot. My mount died. But uh, Falls Edge shouldn't be too far from here. Yeah, right there, perfect. Can never get those. I'm so happy we're in this corner of the map now. It's just so much more lush, vibrant. I've had enough of the desert. Even though we haven't actually technically explored the real desert yet, but you know. Ah, Falls Edge. Might be the coolest Tanakh settlement, I think. It's so beautiful. And, most importantly, they got some good loot as well. Or gear, rather. If I could just find the merchant, that is. Hello? Oh, they're up here. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'd love the, the uh, Dragoon, but we would have had to, you know, kill that stalker. Oopsies. Uh, Seeker Hunter Bow. Oh, 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 this is... 
this is what I want. Like right now, this boat can carry you until you get the uh, the Death Seeker Shadow. Yeah. Okay. So Sunwing Circulator, Black Daisies. We're gonna go kill that Sunwing, like you said. Uh, and it's so weird that you can find and buy a Tripcaster with the shield wires. They should have just made that unique, given that there was a whole quest about it, the mobile cover unit. It didn't love that decision there, but okay. Let's let's find some Sunwings. There should be some in the jungle, right? This is uh, Fashavs, I believe? Yeah. I've seen more of the world than most, but I can still be blind to the most simple of traps. Oh, he got trapped here. Uh, I forget how all these go. Regal insulted me again during a meeting with the marshals, claiming that as a Karja, I could never prove my loyalty to the Tanakh. Citing my service to Hikaru, I asked, What more proof do you need? I knew I had blundered when she smiled. Now I'm on my way to perform an ancient lowland trial in the Valley of the Fallen. Oh, I completely forgot about this. Uh, to get there, we had to travel far to the south, through the jungles of Hikaru's homeland. My companions, lowlanders all, quickly embraced the familiar terrain. Their gait intuitively changed, their steps produced almost no sound or visible marks in the dense foliage. As we marched, they instructed me on how to identify edible plants, just the blueberries, obviously, uh, how to move unseen, how to set traps, and even more importantly, how to spot them. Yeah. Last stop before the valley is Fall's Edge. Here I am astounded to buy yet another Tanakh way of life. Somehow the Lowlanders managed to build their otherworldly settlement. Yeah, and that's coming from a Karja too, which is saying something. Uh, on the edge of a waterfall surrounded by spear fissures, trap cages, and moss-covered spikes. The entrance feels like a river runs through it, and the far side offers an awe-inspiring view of the falls. I'm glad he could appreciate it as well, honestly. It couldn't be more different than the dusty heat of Arrowhand, or the chilling heights of Stonecrest. As we dined on strange shellfish and the fruit of the jungle that was alien to me, I could only reflect that the Tanakh are nothing if not diverse. That is true. Well, I guess he beat the trial. I think it was left behind by Marshall Alright, let's get that uh, green shine down there. I know what a merchant will try for this. Wonderful. I thought there was blight here. Is it just further up ahead? Oh, ooh, ooh, our first watcher, guys. Oh my gosh. Of course, it is a red eye watcher, so we hate it. But still, cool, nonetheless. Ah, there's the blight. Oh, I actually do need a bellowback sack, but I don't know if I want to fight one right now. I'm still a little, a little shaken from that other fight. I guess we're doing it. Let's do it. Let's see week two. Purge water. No, thank you. I'm going to try and freeze him. This is taking a lot. Yeah, maybe not the best idea. A full quiver, too. Go. Try and knock him down. Probably in some kill us. Gotta watch out. Still in the oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hold up. Gotta deal with these guys now. Hold up. Let's kill the bristlebacks. Go back for the billaback. Ooh, this is a 
a little funny animation there okay these guys are so much more manageable oh my gosh now the problem with the Balabak is like they have so few weak points and killing them without bursting that sack is such a problem I guess the shock is exposed so I could try go that way and then just melee it to death I don't know we're not gonna freeze it again though that was too much I wouldn't mind killing a watcher beforehand. I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna get involved, so we gotta kill them. Let's take a note from the Lowland tribe, shall we? I do miss those, uh, kill animations in the Watchers. It's too bad the Burrowers didn't get specific sound strike animations, right? If the Watchers did, the uh, the Stalkers, sorry, Scrappers have them as well. Would love to see one for the Burrower. Okay, let's go for it. Oh shoot! I didn't hit the slide button. <laughs> oh, we're done. I'm gonna sh shock him so I can deal with the Watcher. I got the watcher too, nice. Alright, he's dead. I hear something, what is that? Is it the belly bag? Okay, I think it is. Count. I could use power shots, but I'm scared of hitting the sack. Let's get the grapple shot. Come on, please kill him. Nope, not quite. Alright, well, he's almost dead, I think. He's gotta be. close. Let's try a knockout shot. One more should do it. Oh, it actually worked. Okay, so two for medium machines, I think, will do it. Got the sack, thank god. Nice. Alright, campfire, campfire, campfire. <laughs> right there, perfect. Okay, yeah, those guys? Like, before you get some of the higher tier weapons, I forget how much health they have. And not breaking that sack is one of the more annoying machine fights. Uh, the fire club, of course, is up there as well. At least those guys are weak to, to frost. Frost claws as well. It sucks not having to break their sack. Okay, but I do want to find those sun wings to get that bow. There's there's a sun wing site like somewhere in here, I think. That'll be our, our goal for the rest of the stream. I'm gonna log off in probably 20 minutes, but if we can get that seeker hunting bow before the end, that would be sweet. And the jungle, of course, is absolutely beautiful. I'm glad to see my PCs running it pretty well as well. That's a, a tremor task. Just gonna sneak in there and scan him really quick, but let's not engage. 
It's kind of funny because you're not really supposed to see those guys until you do the Aether Quest. Um, every other Tremor Tusk site in the game will have a Thunderjaw instead, but because it's the hunting grounds, they kind of had no choice there. Oh no! How many? If it's just two, I could take them. Nope, it's three. We're running. Not today. No monkey business today. Watch, next time we stream, I'm going to be decked out in, like, full gold gear. So, uh, I grinded off camera a little bit. Anyone got any exciting plans for the week? I just realized it's still Monday. Just the start, but hopefully not too bad a week ahead of you guys. Mine's not so bad. Not sure if we'll get to Forbidden West again. Uh, maybe Wednesday, but I don't think I'll be available, unfortunately. But hopefully on the weekend we can get back into the game. There you go. There we go. Man, I am very lost. We might get a view of Thornmarsh from here. Yes, perfect, okay. Oh, I'm further north than I expected. Sunwings, Sunwings, okay. This will be the death of me. They've got, they've got Sparker on their backs too, right? They're weak to purge water, which I don't have right now. Maybe I should have bought that sling, but I can hit the Sparker. Oh no. There just had to be Fanghorns, of course. It's it's gonna be the Fanghorns that kill me, watch. What level are these guys, 20? Yeah. Oh, can I override them? No, I haven't fixed the override yet, shoot. Okay, there's one Sunwing up there and then one down here. Yeah, I think it's just the two of them. Those horns have felt I need to fix the override. Okay. Before we do this, let's upgrade Silent Strike. I think that's a good idea. Uh, where is it? Yeah, 100%. We might be able to one-hit them now? Let's see. Nope. Still no, these guys have a ton of health, but... Oh well. Cut! I hate plasma. That didn't insta kill us, which is nice. I'm so used to the scrappers just murdering us immediately. Alright, he's dead. Okay, how do we want to do this, guys? Uh, I don't know. Explosions, that's how. Okay. Okay, let's rethink this. Uh, shield casters, we gotta get those off. It is Sparker on the back. Oh god. Black daisies. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I do have full power shots, so maybe we just like try and spam kill one of them immediately. And then... Deal with the other one. Oh, are they...? That's cool. Um, they're actually breaking down the Fanghorn that I killed. Are they considered... What kind of machine are they? Oh, they're acquisition machines. Yeah, that makes total sense. Cool. Lore. Okay. Okay. We got this. This should still deal damage through the shields, which is key here. Nope, they're flying. Okay. Hello. Oh, I'm plasma. That's gonna murder me. Do I have cleanse? I do. I oh, gotta kill one. That's it? Okay. Maybe I didn't have the full level. Okay, 
take a moment. I wonder how much frost it would take to get them down. Probably a little too much, eh? Try and blast one out of the sky. Let's see. Oh, he's right here. Alright, let's shock him. Come on, come on. Got it, got it. Smoke bombs, smoke bombs. We'll use their confusion to knock off those shields. Or at least one of them. For a second here. Nope, oh, he's on me. Okay, bark on wood. Does he see me? I honestly don't know if he sees me. Hi, friend. We'll be great friends soon. Aren't you excited for that? Okay, I'm gonna get cleanse potions back online here. That's the one that we've already damaged a bit, so let's just keep going on him. Got it! Nice! Okay, we got one. You go away. I don't want to see you right now. Yeah, I can get some cover behind this tree and take out the thing really quickly, I think. Drawn shots should do it. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Stay down. A little dive is kind of funny, you gotta say. God knows it'll, it'll come around when we loot and kill me. So tired. <laughs> I was 
from the freaking uh, Clamberjaw fight to this. Oh my god. And that was just two of them. I feel like most Sunwing sites have like at least three, right? I think we knocked off three of the shield casters, so let's make sure we actually count those. I want every single one that we can get. And what did we need? A uh, Sunwing circulator, I think? Man, if we don't get one, I'm not going to be a happy camper. <laughs> Where's the other one? I think I killed it. Hold up. Ah, it's almost like they implemented a game mechanic called the focus to find things. Please, please have a circulator. Okay. Oh, I can die happy now. Let's find a, a campfire. Thanks, Mr. Rock. I appreciate it. Uh, that's a fire claw site. Let's keep our distance from that. They might have the Seeker Bow at Thornmarsh, so maybe we should just make a, a run for Thornmarsh. And if they don't, we can fast travel back to Falls Edge. No biggie there. Oh. Uh, Mr. Rock, you got a, a favorite machine that you've been fighting so far? I feel like when I was at this point in the game... Yeah, think about that. Dead to Nox. Oh, 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 this is, um, this is a Fireclaw site. Yeah, nope, we're gonna veer right around there. I better take a look at the bodies. I gotta think about that. Uh, which machines were fun to fight, like new machines especially. Honestly, a lot of the bigger ones are just such awesome boss fights. They got so many components, so many ways you can approach the fight. I find the smaller and the medium ones kind of get lost sometimes. Uh, rollerbacks. Rollerbacks were a ton of fun. A little underused if you ask me. Like, I feel like you don't run into that many in the game. Where is Thornmarsh? It's... There's a, a very high level bandit camp right there, so I want to keep my distance from that too. What I'm doing right now, I would not recommend, by the way. Do not gun for Thornmarsh because you will die, as have I. Uh, nope, 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 no thanks. Also, is need to know still on hold? Oh, you gotta actually wait for Talana to message you. Ah, okay. Does anyone know when that actually triggers? I thought it was immediate, but I guess not. Oh, red algae means thorn marsh. Unfortunately, we've made it. Another absolutely breathtaking settlement. It's just so immediately imposing. It's awesome. There's a reason Gorilla's been using it for the background of the bug fixes posts. Oh, and they sell legendary uh, outfits here too. No way we can afford them right now, obviously, but... Uh, where is he? Or she? Right on here, I think, yeah. Okay, what do we got? I honestly don't remember. Wildfire bow's not bad. Oh yeah, they have a Quen weapon. Very weird that you can get a Quen weapon um, before potentially not even meeting the Quen. Globlast sharp shot. I actually really do want that. Um, and I do have a Thunderjaw circulator. I killed one off camera. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's so much better than our current one. Yeah. Elite Rope Caster, the best one until you get to um, Burning Shores. A better Spike Launcher, also very good. This. This is the one that I wanted. Okay. Ice Storm Bolt Blaster. Uh, plasma. Globe Blast Trap Shot. Everyone. Shock Shredders. Okay. You gotta kill a Behemoth for it, which I don't know if we can do right now. I mean, I killed a Thunderjaw, I could kill a Behemoth, right? But is it worth getting this or just waiting for the Ancestor's return? No, it's it's worth getting this, right? Not gonna get it tonight, but... But we do get a free one from the Quen. What, what happens, if anyone knows, if you buy this um, on the boat in Legacy's Landfall, you can get a free Thunderbolt Shredder Gauntlet. Um, you, you, can you just not pick it up in that case? I'm kinda tempted to try that. 
good coils. Okay, no Seeker Hunter bow though. Um, I would, I want to prioritize that, so I'm gonna go buy that. And if I still have some shards and stuff left over, we'll come back here. Ends, hey! Good to see ya. Yeah, I, I initially posted it at 8pm, uh, and then realized I could start at 7, so I just switched it really quick. Sorry about that. <laughs> if that messed with anyone. Uh, Falls Edge, yes. You just can't pull it out of the box, Grundle? Okay, sounds good. So, like, I feel like I should just wait for that one then, but then we gotta wait until we get to San Fran, and I want my Shock Shredders a lot quicker than that. Oh, my neck. That was so much fighting. This will be a really good upgrade, though. This and the... Hmm, do we get the Bolt Blaster or the Sharp Shot first? I might get the... Bolt Blaster, honestly. Ah, but you know what? Our Sharp Shot is real bad. Like, with Overdraw, our Hunter arrows are doing more damage than... Or nearly more damage than the Sharp Shot. So we gotta, we gotta fix that. Alrighty, this is such a good bow. I'm excited for this. Trade. Can we eke out one one upgrade for it? Oh, we actually can. What does it need? Ooh, rock breaker. No thanks. Oh shoot! Did I only pick up one shield caster? And I actually said, wait, make sure I actually get all three. Uh, that's my bad. I guess we'll have to go fight more sun wings. <laughs> uh, how many deaths ends? I think that's just two today, right? Or is it more than that? Uh, okay. Does this deal more damage than slicing? I don't think so, but the fact that it has frost is so good. Uh, the frost arrows unupgraded, or like only at one level of upgrade, is 70 build up versus... Oh, okay, actually it's about the same as what I had before. But, I mean, with upgrades it'll be great. Yeah. In that case, I'm actually gonna keep the slicing for now in a shocking turn of events. I guess I have coils on this too, yeah. And uh, I'll wait till we can upgrade the Seeker. I'll probably upgrade it off camera, go find a Rock Breaker. Or, you know what, because I haven't fought one on the stream yet, we could end off the day by fighting a Rock Breaker. Uh, only thing is we gotta travel quite a ways for that. It'd be like here to here. Not too bad. Uh, let's go buy that Sharp Shot though. Yeah, let's buy the Sharp Shot and then travel to the Still Sands, get the Rock Breaker and then we'll call it a day. Oop. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ooh. We didn't actually end up getting to the uh, the stand of the Sentinels tonight, but we can do that when we actually go to Demeter on the next stream. It sounds like that is the one that we're actually going to do first, so... Can't wait to fight a Dreadwing! <laughs> no, I actually do like Dreadwings quite a bit. I hear you got new armor. Where, where did you hear that? I haven't bought new armor in a minute, sir. Oh no, ends. It was 28 last time? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn this guy off. I, I could I could leave it up for now. Why not? So you guys can all stare at my shame. Loot, loot, loot. Thank you. Going down. Alrighty. I'm trying to think, before Forge Fall, this might be the best Sharp Shot bow, right? Um, I guess Delta's pretty good because you get the pierce through, but I never actually used that that much. They are quite good against human enemies, though. The arrows here have better base damage, but worse tear. Interesting, okay. Ooh, actually, now that I think about it, there's no advanced arrows. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But in terms of dealing plasma, it's pretty good to have. And I guess you get Tear Blast as well, but Tear Blast isn't as good in this game. Maybe I should get the Ice Storm. Yeah. I, I could get both, right? No, I only have one large machine core. Shoot. I'm going to get the Bolt Blaster. I miss Bolt Blasters, so. 
Okay. Will you trade with the Tanakh? Can we upgrade it? Yes, we can. And <laughs> Clamberjaws ends. I don't think you saw my my uh, explosive fight with some Clamberjaws. I killed them all, and then the stalker got me. It was very sad. Okay, let's go to the desert. It's tax season. Yeah, yes, it is. Hopefully, it hasn't been too too bad. You are almost out of it, kinda. Yeah, I still haven't filed mine just because I'm waiting on a form from work and they're taking their time with it, but hopefully I'll get that done soon. Ha! <laughs> they want me to... No, no thanks. Okay, let's go to this campfire. Yeah. Whew. And I, as of this morning, I officially, like, uploaded all of the remaining Baldur's Gate videos. I just gotta make them public now. We're so close to getting back to playing that game. I want to so bad. I miss it so much. But now I gotta, like, choose between my two children and decide if I want to stream Forbidden West or Baldur's Gate. Oh my. Hmm. This will make a good die. Both at the same time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's actually get a mount. I don't have any. Gotta be some chargers on the way, right? Oh, we can get a bristle back. That's new, right? April 15th, that's when you're done. It's soon. Seven days. Gosh, the Fallout show comes out this week. That is... Time sure flies. It's been a year since Burning Shorts 2, which is incredible to think about. Or nearly a year. And I'm already failing at stealth. Yep. Well, let's kill two and then we'll stealth bomb and then... I always say stealth bomb, it's stealth bomb. Okay, and I'm on fire. Oh god, get out of here. Let's get out of here. Not dying to bristlebacks today, thank you very much. Seriously, they're taking a lot of... Do two streams a week. I would love to. Fortunately, my schedule would, would not love me to. Raffi, hey, thanks for stopping by. It's only a Fireclaw. <laughs> I actually did want to fight a Fireclaw earlier. We were going to do Talana's quest, but uh, then I fought like Clamberjaws and Sunwings and realized, wow, we are so underpowered right now. That is not happening today, but maybe, maybe next time. I'm feeling, feeling fruity. I'm always feeling fruity. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little bit tired? This has been a very... a lot of combat tonight. Okay, let's grab this, this boyo here. Is 
excited for BG3. Me too, man. I, I miss it. Sorry, not to assume, man. Me too. You. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear so much about the replayability, and I, I've already gotten um, a second one going for Honor Mode. I'm not that far into it yet, but already just the replayability and seeing all the different choices you can make, the different class mechanics, of course, like it's such a great game. This fight <laughs> is what you want to do to some of your clients. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry. But also, I get that. What's a good name for uh, for Bristleback? This is our first one of the, the uh, playthrough. I feel like Bobby works. Bobby the Bristleback. Brittany? Brittany the Bristleback? Has potential, I think. Bubble butt the Bristleback. I mean, listen, there is literal liquid on their butt. You are just stating facts. Bubble butt bounced. <laughs> I need to go to bed, guys. Bubbles. I actually. Bubbles is quite nice. Less explicit, you know. <laughs> okay, Bubbles the Bristleback. Secretly, Bubble Butt. We got Bubbles the Bristleback, Ziggy slash Ziggy the Sunwing, Charlie the Charger, and Catherine the Claw Strider. <gasps> Ziggy! That's true. Oh, I. Mm. But Bubbles is so fun too. Mmm, but Biggie. Also, again, I just need to comment, like, my heart is breaking right now because I'm like, I've never run through so much Horizon content before. I've played the game before. It still feels wrong, though. Uh, anyways, let's keep going. Biggie and Siggy. Oh. And, oh my god, Wally. Wally the Waterwing? Uh, which camp is this? Let's ignore them. They saw me. Oh, I need to save before we do anything. Yeah. Uh, where's a the campfire? There's gotta be some... There's one, like, over here. But these ones are closer. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Post. Charge and stop them from causing any more harm. Yeah, um, and... So far, I've been trying to actually make as many of the same choices as possible that I know the outcome of for Honor Mode. Uh, but if I end up playing a non-Honor Mode again, I definitely want to experiment a bit. My Honor Mode is not Dark Urge. I definitely don't want to make my first Dark Urge play through an Honor Mode one. But I have to play Dark Urge at some point. I mean, I've heard so much about it. Have, have you played Dark Urge? You must have, right? You've played so much. I've kind of already spoiled, like, a little bit of, um, the Dark Urge backstory. Just, unfortunately, through chatting with some of my d, &D friends. Uh, but knowing some stuff about the previous Baldur's Gate games, it wasn't too hard to guess that. Dark Urge is your favorite over Tav? Oh. Uh, I may have already so uh, said this on stream, but I didn't know that Tav was like what Tav is for the longest time. I kept hearing about it though, and I thought you eventually met some character called Tav, and that everyone really liked them. <laughs> I'm silly. All right, Rockbreaker guys, what level is it, 25? Yeah. So my Bolt Blaster has 19 build up and 19 damage. Hunter heroes are a lot better, but that's per Bolt. Ooh, ooh, I have six skills. That might be enough for technique, honestly. Yeah, oh, it definitely is. Sustained burst? I think so. Dark Urge is fun, Black Daisies. I, I, I can't wait to try it, but like... 
I haven't even started Act 2 on my first one yet. When am I going to get to this? Oh my gosh. What what class should I play? Uh, my honor mode right now is a paladin, but I'm thinking of respecting him into a bard. Um, Dark Urge, Sorcerer could be fun. But I have played Sorcerer on uh, a different file of my friends. But we didn't get past the Goblin Camp, so... Could be fun to play with him the whole way. I really want to try Tempest Cleric at some point. Like the whole... Tempest, sorry, Tempest and then um, Storm Sorcerer, that that combo, because I've been having a lot of fun. You'll see if you watch the um, the uh, Crash episodes, I've been having a lot of fun with Lightning and the Wet Condition. So having a, a mage dedicated to that would be so sweet. Okay, I do just want to coil this thing as well. Uh, it's just Overdraw? Does it have Overdraw? Oh, it does, yeah. Tav is short for Tavern. Oh, I could see it. I could see it. Also, Black Deez is I'm just now seeing Karen the Claw Strider. That's... That's perfect. We gotta keep a note. I gotta make, like, a community post or something that I can keep track of these names. Or just a sticky note. You know, those exist. Uh, Rafi, you beat the game, but you challenge yourself to use Shredders only and no bow. I mean, I, I do love Shredders, but no bow, like, that's hard. Some, some elements you just can't get. Um, Shredders, you only have, what, Shock and Acid? I guess Acid is kind of like Discount Frost, but that would be tough. Okay, how are we going to do this? I gotta actually think about this now, don't I? Just open with a Sustained Burst? I do have to get the Claws, though, right? Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's weak to Shock as well. Let's, let's go with Shock, then. Oh my god. I haven't heard the Bolt Blast reload in many a month, and that just gave me chills. I'm such a loser. Ugh. I love it. All the sounds. Yes, okay. It's a good omen, everyone. No. Bad omen. Stop. Uh, my. Uh. Abort! Abort! Alright, he can feel us move, right? Oh shoot, I jumped. Just get one more, one more smoke bomb, one more smoke bomb. Okay. Let's get on the rock, shall we? I'm gonna die so quickly. Oh yeah, that's new from Zero Dawn, isn't it? Shocked? That is shocking. Oh my god. Okay, did about half health. That's not the worst. Shoot, he's gonna lose his status build already. Oh god. Am I crushed? No. Oh, this is bad. He didn't even get shocked from the full sustain burst clip. Wow, okay. So I was trying to shock him so I could get the claws, but maybe I just go in with the claws. Yeah, I think so. We're trying to knock him down with power shots, maybe? 
I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I'll get a knockdown. hit the floor. Still got him though. Okay, let's go for this one. At least they're pretty big targets, like I'll give it that. And they don't have any armor on them yet. Actually, I don't know if they ever do get armor. Crush, that's good. Crush is so bad. Okay, but why is he kind of cute though? <laughs> He's just like rolling along, you know, doing his thing, murdering hunters. Reload the berries. Yep. said no hunt, but I'm dying. Oh, cool storm in the background. Always appreciate that. Super low on berries. Look, I got a health potion right now. Yes, you did. That's one. Hopefully it doesn't go flying like they always do. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Okay. Yeah, stay there for just two seconds. This won't hurt a bit, buddy. the other one. Technically, we could just leave now. I only needed two. I think. Got another one. One more and he's stuck on the ground.
Oh. Okay. We did it. We didn't die. Got the primary nerve. That's nice. And the circulator. Okay. Yeah, that's super good. I gotta say, though, um, late game, I don't really use elemental bolts as much. It's mostly just um, damage ones and explosive. It's really fun to have, like, ice bolts and shock bolts. They're quite good. Nomad, hey, thanks for stopping by. And no worries, we're honestly, we're probably gonna wrap up now. It's getting pretty late. I just really want to kill this rock breaker, so we got it. Let's make sure we loot all of the loot, because we wouldn't want to miss out on that. Here we go. Let me just catch up on chat really quick. Uh, you're using a number randomizer, and you make the character based on that. Oh, damn, that sounds kind of fun. Three cleric, three bards, and one rogue thief. I've always wanted to do an all-bard party. I feel like that'd be fun. And bard is versatile enough that you probably could get away with it and be fine. Okay, I think that's all for. I'm just now seeing your, your claw message. Yeah, so what I was trying to do was shock him, because I figured it would make the claws easier. But I forgot... They're actually pretty easy to, they're pretty big, and when he is above ground, he doesn't move too quickly, so you don't really need to shock him. Yeah, still has one claw, is able to completely burrow and submerge himself. Accuracy right there. Thanks, Black Daisies. I, I will take it. Okay, you all know how this ends. Let's go kill us some, some Fanghorns and then call it a day. I'll just fast travel because I do need to go. Pretty soon, I am starving. But thank you guys so much for sticking around today, I really appreciate it. Uh, this is a fun one, we did the Dying Lands, got Gaia back, and now we have the whole rest of the map, or at least most of it, at our disposal, which is a ton of fun. And yeah, I'm excited to just do a bunch of grinding off screen, been missing some good machine combat, I'm looking forward to getting to it. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week ahead of you. Uh, ends. I hope the tax clients do not destroy you. And if they do, just remember that bristleback fight. And remember to fight back. Maybe don't actually, but you know. You should have flashbacks to the Frozen Wilds when the uh, the claws beneath. I haven't actually done that on my my replay of Zero Dawn, which I also still need to finish. Oops. We'll get back to it. All right. How quickly can we defeat these today? Again, every day we're gonna get come back here, and it's just gonna get even better. Until I die again, that is. I'm gonna get uh, burst shot. I do quite like. Um, hmm, wait, spread or burst? No, I want burst. Ah, uh, that's five. Wait. Oh no, I am thinking of spread shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Should make quick work of these guys. They're weak to frost, right? Yeah. Oh, ends. I don't know if you were there for that, but um, I just the, the, for some reason this specific Fanghorn site, whenever I play this game, always gets me, and so I've decided that whenever a machine does kill me, ah, Mr. Nomad, yes, thank you. Whenever a machine does manage to kill me, it's because they're possessed by the spirit of these Fanghorns, and so I have to regularly come back here to like cleanse the area, hollow it, if you, if you will. Uh, they deserve to die, and so we are carrying out Gaia's work. Banu Kai's work. Come on, come on! Yes! This feels good. Oh! Quickest one yet. Gotta say. This one's gonna get the sustained burst. soul is, is at peace, everyone. Okay, let's find some pretty to end it off. I'm gonna run out of vistas here. I end every stream in the exact same spot. Let's go a little ways over here this time. Never heard that one before. 
Yep, uh, me neither. <laughs> oh, oh, Nomad. The first piece of merch I'm making is the Fanghorn. <laughs> but what, what does it say? Is it a Fanghorn being like, I've come to murder? Or is it like a Fanghorn running away from me with like all of the weapons in the game? I don't know. Gotta think about it. <laughs> ends. Ends. You know puns aren't allowed here. Is it? Is it a pun if it's your name? <laughs> That's a good one. Good one. This is indeed how it all ends. Uh, yeah, let's climb up here. Why not? Let's prolong this even more. There should be climbable ones here, right? Oh, it's pretty far away, isn't it? Yeah, man. Okay, I chose I chose poorly. This is this was not a good idea. Where is the path? Oh, it's right here. There we go. Ah, the devs were kind to us. They put. I lied, they only put one in. What? They usually have like a succession of them, right? Weird. Oh, but there's one up there. Interesting. Maybe I just missed it. I don't know. There we go. This is a pretty sweet spot to finish it off. Oh yeah. A dire can make use of this. Oh man. I'm so hungry. I haven't had dinner yet, and it's 11:30. Oh my god! Actually, the reason that um, at the start of the stream, the um, the starting soon took so long was um, I was still cooking some boiled eggs because I needed something before I streamed, and so I was just like, you know, quickly shelling eggs in the kitchen while the stream was live. It was a very weird feeling. Thanks for the bristleback fight. <laughs> yeah, keep going back to it the rest of my week. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Remember the fire arrows, even though I didn't use those during that fight. Remember the shredder. Yes. Go go to the, if you have a shredder at work, if you work in an office, just go to that and just slowly put pieces of paper in it. You'll feel great. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Ends. Stemmer would be proud. Oh, I'm so excited to meet Stemmer. Um, we are going to do Demeter next time first, uh, which I am super excited about because Alva, our perfect little bean. But after that, I'll probably do... Vegas? I think it'd be kind of funny to do them in the wrong order. Um, oh, but Catalo! Ah! So many good NPCs. They really made it difficult to choose, didn't they? That is any everything anyone could ask for. A glowing recommendation from Stemmer the Wordsmith himself. Shredder at work. Um, I've never actually worked anywhere with a Shredder. Uh, my mom did once, though, and I remember... This is a weird memory to bring up. A bring your kid to work day. And I actually, like, was put to work on the Shredder for, like, a whole hour. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I love them so much. <laughs> now, I blame Arctix. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Arctix's videos, go check them out. They're amazing. I'm sure you have, though. Dude is killing it. Is there a metal flower up here? Damn. You know, one good thing about doing Demeter first is, um... We can start clearing metal flowers more quickly because unfortunately you kind of forget about them as you proceed. Same with Fire Gleam. Like, I haven't gone through the Daunt yet, but there's a ton of Fire Gleam I gotta get rid of. Uh, underwater caverns are easier to, like, go to once you have the rebreather. Yeah, yeah, Nomad, I'm a little worried about the. the, uh, Dreadwing. Shouldn't be too bad, though. We'll have Alva, and Alva is surprisingly good at fighting. Like, I don't know why, but she's great, so should be good. Ends, why would you- why would you save that? It's so sad. Uh, her and- her and Aloy could have become such good friends. Like, I really do believe that. Um, someone write the, uh, the alternate universe fanfic of Vala and Aloy. I, I said fanfic, but they're just platonic. Like, I wonder where they would have went. Um, Vala, Varl. I I must have noticed that before. Vala and Varl and Aloy just going on adventures, having a good time. It's sad. I can't wait for Horizon 3 and uh, whatever kind of like ritual we undergo at the start where a bunch of people die. 
Demeter's your favorite sub function ends. Oh, of all three. Okay. Interesting. Like like quest or like sub function. If you if you get the distinction, my favorite of the three is definitely uh, Poseidon because the Vegas quest is just amazing. Um, and I kind of like the idea that Poseidon retreated there and like actually tried to defend himself with the water and all that stuff and how he tried to make himself feel more at home with the the projections and stuff. Um, quest. Okay, that makes sense. Interesting. You you prefer that over Sea of Sands? Blasphemy. I'm kidding. People are allowed to have their opinions, but Sea of Sands is the best. No! <gasps> I need to go to bed. <laughs> Did we take any fall damage from that? No, damn. Okay. That could have been so bad. Um, Demeter's a fun quest, though. It, it feels very... Um, Zero Dawny, in the sense that you're going through an old facility, which there's a bit less of in Forbidden West, but I'm okay with that. Like, we, we did our time in Zero Dawn. The Proving Part 3. Exactly. Yeah, it's, uh... What, okay, what do we think it's gonna be? Um... Is it Vast Silver who kills everyone? Is it... Like, it can't be Nemesis. Unless Nemesis kind of sounds like a... pre-wave of enemies, but I don't see how that could work. Um... Either... Maybe it's like a Banuke offshoot tribe who follow Vast Silver are trying to kill us, maybe? Or some of Durval's old lackeys, if we're in the claim? I don't know. I gotta think about that. Because it's definitely gotta happen, right? We gotta go three for three. Black Daisies, the Poseidon quest is so good. It might honestly be my favorite quest in gaming. Like, ever. I don't know. It just, it touched me at such a fundamental level. And, I mean, God, Rusted Sands, that song, still brings me to my knees every time it's just like so good people dying in the opening will always be a fun fun intro to horizon 3 i do need to get some new sound effects i'm reusing the same ones but so i got a stream deck recently it's been very fun to use and very useful i'm already out of buttons though um i know there's the xl maybe i should have gotten that but it was more money so no thanks uh what else do i got i can turn the game volume up I can ding. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Anyway. <laughs> when the podcast eventually happens, I'll have a soundboard and it'll be great. I did it again! Wings holding up. <laughs> Nomad, you like the progression of the Aether quests, the spectacle of the sea sands, and the boss fights are so good. Yeah, you know, Aether, it does have a pretty good progression. And I kind of consider, like, the cool route as part of it because they, like, the two are technically separate but still part of the same sub-function quest. Um, it's a good little sub-arc. It is like the Tanakh arc of the main quest, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And I mean, Catalo, you're gonna be like that defiant shit up there, or are you gonna... I forget the line. Unkind comparison. You you know what I'm talking about. The sound of, I, I'm having a lot of fun with them. I gotta go online and find some more. I really want the, um, the Aloy. Oh, are you gonna shut up? Because that would be a surprise. Don't know when I would use it, but... The Broken Sky is your favorite. Yeah. And I mean, come on. Yosemite. Can't go wrong. Um, oh, yeah, Yosemite is absolutely gorgeous. It is funny to me that, like... Is the Daunt actually taller than Shearside Mountains? They might be. I gotta compare them later. Um, if you go to the, uh, the Burning Shores, the pieces of, like, island slash land that have been raised up are way taller than, like... I realized they're like as tall as the walls of Shearside Mountains, which is crazy, but the scale of the Burning Shores is just out of this world. It's amazing. That was an unkind comparison. My favorite thing is um, how I'm going to say his name wrong, but Noshir Dalal, the, the voice actor and mocap actor for Katalo, he's so active on Reddit and it's always so fun to see him post on there. Uh, it's such a cool guy. I'm super excited to see him in more stuff. He's probably in a ton already. I just only play Horizon and so don't know anything else. Uh, okay, but we are going to leave it there, folks. Let me put Aloy away for a moment. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. That was a ton of fun. Um, great way to start the week. I feel more ready to take on the horrors that lay ahead. I hope you do too. <laughs> uh, but anyways, like I said, next time we get back, which hopefully will be later this week, but I got a bit of a busy one ahead of me, so... Maybe the weekend, and if not, next week. 
we'll get on to Demeter. Hopefully I'll have a little bit more gear with me so that we can not die as much. Although I think we only got two deaths today, so I'll I'll take the win. I mean, um, Drax, is that you? Wait, is, is he does he um play like a, an animated Drax or something that I'm not aware of? That would be cool. Good for him. Not the live action one, of course, but um. Same armor around this level. Yeah, I, I'm wearing this one. Sorry, the game is still open for me. Um, oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is just the, the transmog on this one. I am wearing the Wayfarer right now for stats, um, but I definitely need to get some new armor because we are dying too quickly. Um, there's some side quests that you could get, like the Deluge for one. You can get some survivor armor for free, I think. Or no, it's mixed gear. It's, it's one of the Tanakh armors, but we could get that one for free. I'm gonna spend my shards on it. Um, but the Nora Valiant also, which I think is my current, yeah, my current quest, would also be sweet because it's the Hunter class, so, yeah. Transmog, yeah, I do I do love how this one looks. Um, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the Osram ones, but because this one's more like cloth based, I just, the, the color of the dye really takes on it. It's super cool. But yeah. Oh, he just sounds like him. Okay, gotcha. I was like, oh, damn, good for him if he got Drax. Uh, but no, he definitely does kind of remind me of him. Armor is crucial on Ultra Hard. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do the Deluge. He was fantastic armor. Yeah, it's the Tanakh, the Vanquisher, I think. It's mixed gear. I remember that one. I never used it, but... um. And I know there has to be Transmog in Baldur's Gate eventually. Like, I'm so sad about that. Um, I'm hanging on to so many pieces of armor just in case. Um, also, I'm a hoarder, so uh, I'm hanging on to every single unique magic item that I come by, and where if possible, I'm buying them all as well. Like, just in case they ever become useful, they're not—they're not going to. Like, I'm hanging on to like green tier rings that do nothing. I just—I just like having my little dragon horde. You know? Can you blame me? Oh, this game is so pretty. Man. Okay. I—I I do gotta end it off here because I am so hungry oh I'm, I'm playing pc Baldur's gate um i i am like mainly a pc gamer um with the big exception of horizon but i i tend to mostly do horizon on this channel which is playstation uh i grew up with uh mostly xbox though and then i got the ps4 or oh, i just shook the whole table got the ps4 for horizon fallout skyrim remastered and then i maybe got the playstation 5 like just for horizon forbidden west but I intend to use it for other games as well. I need to get to God of War at some point, but there's already so many games to play. Ugh. Mods, yes. Oh, no, no, I, I would love to play with some uh, some mods in BG3. Sun's getting real low. Yeah. Do I have a green armor set for the Hulk? No, I don't. I'm just being very silly now. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You had a PS1? Nice. I My first console was... um. Oh my god, the Xbox before the Xbox 360. I don't know what that's called. I was super young. Uh, oh, oh no, 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 GameCube. It was GameCube, if we count that. Uh, I think my, my the first game that I ever remember playing, like all the way through, is probably Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, that game has a very special place in my heart. I love it so much. I'm also realizing I probably should get some outro music. It's probably very weird to just be in the sounds with me. Let's just... Just go back to the game. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Okay, thank you guys so much for sticking around and chatting. I really appreciate it. Hope to chat with you guys soon. And like I said, have a great start to the week. And hit that shredder. Uh, <laughs> that's all I'll say. Have some fun with it if it exists. Oh, man. But anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.